right. Just get everybody a nice welcome. And we'll give it a few seconds. And if guys, if you're showing up in the room, please say hi so we know you're here. Um, so far, we have uh, myself, Susie, and um, Lisa. Um, Serena will be joining us a little bit later. Uh, so thanks so much for being here. Uh, please don't hesitate to give us a hello. And Lisa, if you just want to give it a second, um, we'll just wait and see where we are, okay? Yep. Sounds good. All right, I'll be um, just stepping away for one quick second. Mm -hmm. Hey, Kathy, how are you? Welcome. So we'll be back in just one moment. I hope everybody had a wonderful weekend. We're going to be showing you guys some wonderful jewelry and crystal items today. It is. <laughs> hey, Kathy. I'm sorry I had to step away. Thanks for popping in. How you doing? Nice to see you. Yes, that was Lisa. I, I'm <laughs> sorry. My bad. I stepped away. <laughs> um, so we're just going to give it a few more seconds. Kathy, do you have any interests of any kind for Lisa and I? Um, we do have a few minutes to gather some items. If you're interested in anything in particular, let us know. Hello, Kim. Nice to see you. Hi, Kim. Again, if anybody has any specific needs or interests, don't hesitate. We're still waiting for Serena. She had some errands she needed to complete, and then she will be joining us. How you guys doing today? This is so weird. I can't figure out how to turn this off. Huh. Weird. Anyway. So uh, chatting with Roberta, we do have some news for you guys. Um, the news is that we will have a special guest tomorrow during our live at 6.30. Um, tomorrow, brooches, surprise, surprise. <laughs> <laughs> she wants brooches. Um, Vanessa is going to be joining us tomorrow uh, with uh, myself and Roberta. So she'll be a guest seller. For us tomorrow and again we have no time constraints i am on vacation i'm very excited about that so uh it's it's going to be it's going to be a fun night so again 6 30 eastern standard time for myself roberta and vanessa i'll be posting an event after this event and i am excited it's going to be a great show all right, we're going to go ahead and let Lisa kick off. Isn't that exciting news? I'm very excited. I'm very excited. I, I look forward to getting to know her better. She's a sweet, sweet lady. All right, we're going to go ahead and kick it off with Lisa. She'll get started, and then she can represent some of her items if necessary. Um, let me just get you up here, Miss Lisa. Thank you. Hi, everybody. I'm also excited now, like I know the big news and I don't mm. have to be up early Thursday and I don't have any time constraints that can actually stay up and watch the show. That's yeah. exciting. It should Happy. be fun. Maybe you could pop in and sell a few things if you're not doing anything. Hi, Gail. Hey, Gail. How are you? <clears throat> Bear with me. I'm probably going to be moving a bit slow today. It's about 5,000 degrees outside. And I do not yet have air conditioner out in my studio. So uh, we'll start with this guy. I'm going to show you guys the necklace. This is a costume piece. A 
we have some rose quartz chips, some small seed beads along with the silver tone chain. Oh, yeah. good job, John. Really pretty costume. <coughs> Um, charm here. Get a measurement on this one for you. Now it does look like the extender chain was added to this piece. It does not look original, full disclosure. Total length on this one is about 16 and a half inches. This is a very short chain. And, hmm. Uh, I'll do this guy, I'll do it for four today. Four dollars if anybody likes the costume necklace. Let me put it on here, I'll show you how it lays. That is really elegant. I mean, I love, it. it's original um, uh, rose quartz, right? Yes, the rose quartz is natural. The chips, again, the seed beads, I'm not sure if they're stone or if they're just... They're probably glass. Yeah. <clears throat> so we're looking for $4 on this really pretty in pink necklace, guys, if anybody's interested. Rose quartz. Cool little pendant. Hey, Vanessa, I was just giving everybody the good news that you'll be with us tomorrow night at 6.30. Whoop, whoop. Excited. <clears throat> so $4 if anybody's interested. Are those stones or enamel in the fob? The pendant um, itself? Yeah, they're feeling enamel. All of them? Yep. Yep. They all feel enamel. The center one looks raised. That one's raised, but I believe it's just a rhinestone. Yeah. Yeah, so Kathy, they are enameled uh, on the pendant. <clears throat> Yes, we're excited. I'm going to post the event later so you can share it. Vanessa is in at four. All right. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Vanessa. Now I have leg. Shh. <laughs> as long as I don't, that's all that matters. Let <laughs> me get you bagged up, Vanessa. All right, no worries, Serena. Thanks for popping in. Uh, just come on in whenever you have some time. More than happy to have you whenever you're ready. The girls would love to have your stuff. I want to see some of that wire wrapping, woman. Yes. Thank you, Vanessa. Yep, thank you very much. Oh, I'm great, excited, Vanessa. That's I awesome, Vanessa. That would be awesome. Um, make sure you private message me. I want to be there. I'm home all day. All right. Next up, I'm going to show you guys a 62 millimeter, or it's almost two and a half inch, blue appetite sphere. This one has beautiful shiller. Which anybody, if you're unfamiliar with stones, shiller is... When you move it around and you can see that little bit of light, I'm not sure if it's transition, transitioning onto camera or not. But it's got almost like a bit of flash to it. A shimmer, if you would. And this one is $45. Buy it now. I will include a little stand for it. Kim wants to see the butterfly when you get a chance. Absolutely. I'll show you that right now. <coughs> This is, um, it's just a, uh, like a metal, it's, I don't even think it's metal. What do you call that real thin? Like an aluminum. Yeah, like almost like an aluminum gold tone butterfly sphere stand. Has little feet on it. And I'm doing these for $10. Tin, tin. That's a better way to put it. Tin. Yeah, yep, there we tin. go. Tin. And you can see how the sphere sits on it. All right. You got it, Kim. Thank you very much. That's yours. Oh, it does make a good earring holder. She's right. Oh, she, yeah, absolutely. 
Um, Serena, you have the link, right? I sent it to you. Just let make sure you have the link. Otherwise, I'll go out and make sure I resend it to you. <clears throat> let me know, okay? Here we go. I'll switch that out with this one so I have somewhere to put this guy. John just <laughs> said the same thing. Yep, you can put earrings on there. I didn't even think about that. And you're absolutely right. All of those little flowers in it, you can hook an earring into everything. Kim's happy. Awesome. Thank you again, Kim. And hey, Elizabeth. Thanks for coming in. Lisa's with me. Hey, how are you, Elizabeth? All right, so we're going to pass on the blue appetite sphere. No problem. Next up, I'm going to bring this guy. This is a glass pendant on a seed, seed bead necklace. <clears throat> okay, Serena, no worries. Thank you, sweetie. Standard clasp with an extender or... Um, yeah, extendal chain. We get a total length on this one for you. Hopefully. How you doing, Elizabeth? Hope you're having a good day. All right. So total length on this one is 21 inches. And this one I will do for, we'll do this one for six. Six dollars on the glass pendant on the black seed bead necklace. I love these glass pendants. So do I. They're so pretty. That's a nice one. Can you back it down, back it off a little bit? There you go. That's really pretty. There we go. Here's the All right, so six dollars. Hey, Teresa, thanks for popping in. I saw your message. I didn't get a chance to read it. You just got home. Uh, no worries. There's no rush on that at all. All right, so six dollars on the gl uh, glass seed beaded and glass pendant necklace. If anybody's interested, it is a buy it now at six dollars. All right, we're going to go ahead and pass, but it's still up for availability. If anybody is interested, let us know. Yep. Or if you're viewing later, please private message Lisa at firesidecrystals at gmail.com. Well, Kathy likes it for six. Thank you, Kathy. All right. Congratulations, Kathy. That's awesome. Sold. Yep, you can also have the butterfly for 10. That's no problem. Thank you very much. How many of those you have? Uh, that is the last butterfly. All I have left after that is the palm trees. The palm trees. Okay. All right. Sold, sold, sold. Congratulations, ladies. Thank you very much. All right, next item I'm going to show you guys. This is going to be for choice, and I don't know how you ladies are, and gentlemen are going to feel about these. I did censor them. Um, these are going to be $35 for choice. These are all natural stone carvings. These are man busts or man models. <laughs> sold, sold, sold. That's right, John. This one is dragon's blood, or I'm um, sorry, uh, yes, dragon blood, dra dragon's blood jasper. So that is option number one. I love option your little sensor. That is adorable. <laughs> My little price sticker. We don't have to use our imagination to know what's under there, right, girls? <laughs> yeah, a while back, I also had the little mini peens, as we call them. This one is a peach calcite, and this is option number two. I mean, look these, at the abs on these things. These are very popular, I hate to tell you. I, I mean, I love to tell you. They are so popular. And then the last option is sunstone. I like him. Yeah, I like the sunstone, too. And again, these are $35 for choice, if anybody's interested in any Sorry. of Sorry, I'm not typing, I'm watching. Terrific way too much fun right now. <laughs> <laughs> the 
sorry. My eyes were uh, diverted for a second. They're fun. They are a lot of fun. I have to get some of the uh, ladies to go with them. Lori had a lady. She was pretty. Yeah, she was very pretty. <laughs> Teresa. Yeah, no. that would have been. Vanessa, he... Uh, yeah, they're they're sticky not very. Point. Yep, that's a sticky point. They, they're <laughs> very <laughs> underwhelming as far as endowment. <laughs> yeah, yep, yep. Hey, cinnamon! Hey, Thanks cinnamon. for popping in, honey. All right, we're gonna move the little nakies out of the way. But they're still available. If anybody's interested, you can always reach back out. No problem. Yep. I mean, feel free to email me. I know sometimes items like that, you don't necessarily want everybody to know that you want them. Mm -hmm. so feel free to reach out to me through email. I believe I have, uh, yeah, I have two of the Sunstone available as well as one of each of the others. All right. I'm going to move on to my next piece. This is a vintage brooch. It is costume gold tone. And A, B, and all over the place. Yeah. Very sparkly A, Bs in this baby. Pin is intact. Love the square. No markings. And I'm going to do this one for a $10 buy it now. Great buy. Been ten dollars on this fantastic vintage AB brooch. Prong set. Yes, yeah, cinnamon. John's coming live on YouTube's uh, Thursday at two p.m. All right, I got you, Gail, for ten. Thank you very much. You're very busy. <laughs> Just all like right. Congratulations. Every time I'm here, I apologize for my terrible nails. I will be able to go and get them done soon. <laughs> What hey, I do, Lydia. Thanks for coming in. What I do for a living is very hard on the nails. Hi, James. Your husband's here. Oh, hey, dear. How are you, Lydia? Welcome. Just got to an area that has service. Where the heck are you at? In the John says his nails will be worse on Thursday. So, guys, <laughs> just so you know, John Based Out is a part of our community over on Facebook. Um, so he's going to test the waters on YouTube here on Denim to Diamonds live auctions on Thursday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. He's got amazing stuff. He's a lot of fun. Uh, Cinnamon uh, has uh, frequented his shows often. I think Vanessa was there last night. So um, if you guys are av available, check us out at 2 p.m. on Thursday. I'll be posting that event this evening as well. So just set your reminders and come on down. All right. And the last item I'm going to show before Sue takes over, if she's ready. Um, yeah, we'll do this one. This is the last one of these. I got in quite a few and they didn't last very long. But this is an aquamarine heart. I have mine right here. Love that. That is a gorgeous piece. Oh, you, got like, you got like the um the the oh god cream of the crop. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, I certainly did. He's out in the woods, he said. Oh, okay. Well that makes sense then. This one is an inch and three quarters, and it is a buy it now of ten dollars. That's aqua, ladies and gents. Unfortunately, not a ton of translucence in this one. Get my little light here and light it up. Woo! And it's okay. Unbreakable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, That's very strong. Kathy's in a 10, dear. There we go. All right. I got you, Kathy. Thank you very much. <coughs> Excuse me. And thank you guys for looking. I will see you in a little bit. And we're going to kick it on over to Sue. All righty. Um, okay. I'm going to start off with uh, some choices on pendants. 
Thank you, Miss Lisa. Thank you. All righty. Hi, guys. So um, I'm going to try a couple of pendants. We're going to do a couple at a time. I did kind of uh, bulk them together. I did not put chains. I wanted to keep the prices as low as possible for you. So uh, we'll do uh, this four, these four, these four, and the, these four. Okay. So for choice, um, <clears throat> the first one, <clears throat> excuse me, um, is a 925 tie. There we go. Right in the drawer. 925 Thailand. Why is my light so bad? Huh. There, that's a little bit better. Um, this is a um, lapis. You can see all the little uh, <clears throat> pyrites in there. Oh my goodness gracious. And here you would, is the way that you would loop it through the chain or you could put yourself a nice little jump ring on there or a bale, great little piece. Um, and we're gonna start these off at, um, you know what, let's do these at $12 start. So that is 925 Thailand. The, this, the second one is just this beautiful puffy heart. This one is just marked 925. The bail um, is, it, it looks like it's a little tiny bit out of shape, but it's not awful. I think that maybe just sticking a pair of pliers in there would just kind of straighten that out a little bit. Great little piece, puffy heart, 925. This one I call my little mouse, mouse trap. That's what it reminds me of. This is a really gorgeous piece. It's a heavy piece. 925, here's your bail. Simply marked, just 925. Great little piece. And this one I love. This one is uh, marked 925. It looks like these are proper stones. Cannot confirm uh, exactly what they are. Here's your cartouche, says 925. I think I got a couple little designs over there. Nice big bail. It's got the mask on there. So if anybody's interested, um, yeah, it, it was uh, it was an auction, but that's fine. Let's do twelve uh, for um, yeah, Lisa. These are going to be. Uh, I'm sorry, that's my fault. I'm sorry. That's my fault. That's my fault. I messed up. How you doing, Stephen? Nice to see you. Okay, you want one, two, three, or four, love. One, two, three, or four. We're just going to, you know what? We'll do bin. It's easier. One, two, three, or four. How are you? So nice to see you. I miss you. So good to see you. Not your fault, Lisa, at all. This is actually going to be easier just to do it at bin. Any one you want, you can have it. So it'll be number one. Number two, number three, or number four. $12 for choice. I broke my little tray. Shame on me. Bin for the win. Tell him, John. You want four. Number four. Okay, that is yours for $12, Stephen. Thank you. Okay. Perfect, perfect. Okay, the next one, we'll go on to the next row unless anybody else is interested in either of these three for $12, buy it now. We'll do it at buy it now. Look what I did to my poor tray. The lapis sterling silver pendant, the puffy heart, or the mouse trap, which is, I would put a few little balls in there. I think that would be fun. All right, give you guys a few seconds to think about those, then we'll move on to the next row. All right, you guys can think about it and let me know. It's not a problem. Uh, we'll go on to the next row, which is the um, 9 to 5 Israel. Probably a, a Iliad stone in there. This one is a 9 to 5 China Topaz. I'll bring them out. I just want to tell you what they are. This one is a 9 to 5 China Ruby. And then you have this um, <coughs> Hebrew mark, I would believe. Not 100% sure, as I am a 100% Catholic. Okay, so the first one is a cute little star. Um, it's marked, looks like an Eliot. It's got the black uh, marks in there, Israel 925. We're going to do these at $10, buy it now. 
ten dollars buy it now this one is a gold vermeil this is testing a topaz very very pale blue almost like an uh aqua color very pale china nine two five and the second one is also no this is actually a silver tone it looks like it just needs a little bit of a polish this is testing ruby ruby on that oh you're working i love that you're working and bidding and then you have this one here i love the design of this i just think it's a really great looking piece and here's your back and it's marked right up in here if anybody's interested in those four Again, Israel 925, 925 China Topaz, 925 China Ruby, and 925. Bin 10. Okay, John, you got it. Which one do you want? Number one, number two, number three, number four. I know you're going to take one. He said, you know, <laughs> number one, right? He wants number one. Yeah, I, I, that just, I know him well enough. Okay. You got it, John. Yep. You got it, buddy. Take that off. If anybody else is interested in the others, please just shout it out. Yeah, JB, he loves his uh, Israeli his Israel pieces. All right, the next row, uh, we're gonna do these at. Um, I'm gonna do these at. I'll do these at twelve as well. Twelve as well. Lisa's here, honey. Lisa's here with me. Um, this one is a unmarked piece, and that is a CZ. Here is your bail style. Hey. This one is in the um kind of in the silpata not silpata the um oh my gosh help me a spinel area but it is coloring like a topaz a smoky quartz i'm sorry it's like a smoky quartz um the next one is marked 925 just a, a um cz you would loop it through like so okay and then this one is a nice little vintage, uh, at least it looks like to me, a Y. Really cool looking piece. How are you, Amy? So what did I say, $12, Lisa? Yes, 12 Okay, so $12 for a choice on those four. Some nice bales there. You put on a nice $4 sterling silver chain, <laughs> you can make a profit on these with no problem at all. If anybody's interested in those, thank you, Lisa. This is a nice one. I like the way that this one's set. Nice sturdy bale. Good to see you, sweetheart. All right, we're just gonna move on. This one is a Jerusalem piece. We're gonna do these at 15. This is a Jerusalem piece. Beautiful, has a nice bale marked on the back jerusalem okay the next one is sterling germany sterling germany oh my gosh i don't know what's wrong with me today sterling germany all the marker sites are in place here's your bail it's marked down in here i had to use my magnifying glass my um, microscope to find that one so that is number two number three is uh, milano sterling Milano Sterling. I believe that to be a proper uh, shell with a nice filigree. Here's your bail. 15 for choice. Um, and this one. Bin 15. I don't know if she's purchasing or was just calling. Oh, yeah. Uh, you'll have to. Uh, uh, Tressa, let us know, sweetheart. This one is phenomenal. I mean, this is just a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous piece. This one is Mark Sterling. This is an old piece love 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 this the bail i'm not sure about the bail i'll be honest with you because it looks like copper's coming through but this is just lovely she's beautiful actually 
And that is all 15 for choice on that top row, if anybody's interested. The Jerusalem, the Germany Sterling with the Marcusites, the Milano Sterling with the Cameo, and the Vintage Sterling with the Cameo at $15 for choice. Yep, Finn. Okay, um, who's in first? Teresa, are you buying? Teresa, let me know if you're bidding because you would have been the first. Let me know. If not, then I'll go to Vanessa. She's the second one. Um, unless Stephen did bid. Okay, Stephen wants four and one. Stephen wants three. Okay, Teresa wants one Jerusalem and four Sterling. Okay, mm -hmm. that's going to Teresa. Stephen wants the Milano. And then Ooh. next would be Vanessa and then Kathy. If okay, want. Vanessa, the only one I have left is this one, if you're interested, on this row of what I have left. Let me get these bags for these two lovelies. Oh, Vanessa says hers are gone. Okay, what about uh, Kathy? Is yours gone as well, love? Oh, you like leftovers. You got it, Kathy. <laughs> Thank you, dear. That is yours. I appreciate that. You got it, dear. Congratulations. All right, so Lisa, that took a bit of time, so I'll be happy to pass it on to you if you're ready. I'm ready, but if you have something else you wanted to show, that's fine as well. Uh, I'll prep my next tray. Um Oh, I put the wrong thing in Steven's bag. That's what I did. All right, I'm going to kick it on over to Lisa, guys. I'll prep you for the next tray. Thank you so, so much, everybody. I appreciate you sending you over to Lisa. Thank you, Sue. Hey again, guys. All right, let's see. What do I want to start this one off with? Uh, let's start with the cactus brooch. This is a costume cactus brooch. No markings that I can see on this one. Again, the pin is intact. I don't know if I can get that to focus for you. And I will do this one for a $4 buy it now. $4 buy it now if anybody likes the cactus brooch. I think this is a pretty cool looking little piece. Definitely different. Oh, Kim likes it for four. Thank you, Kim. I just kicked myself out of chat. So <laughs> I'm coming back. Hold on. Uh, if I pop in, I'm sorry, Lisa. I don't mean to. I'm just, I got booted. All right. Next up, I'm going to do this guy. Um, these are very popular. And this is the last one I have. This is an Aura Quartz Cluster. This one is two-toned Lemon Aura and Green Apple Aura. Basically what this is, is it's a quartz cluster that's been treated with different metals and they produce the different colors. Um, this one is quite large. Four and a quarter wide, and at its tallest point, just over three and a quarter inches tall. And this one is 35. And this is great for any of you guys that are also sellers, like this tall point here would make a great little spot to put a ring. Let me put that down, like so. But again, these are very, very popular. And this is, unfortunately, the last piece I have left. Hey, 
Hi, Kathy. Welcome. Okay, we're going to go ahead and pass on that, but it will be here if anybody's interested later. Welcome, Kathy. Thanks for stopping in. Thank you, Kathy. All right, next up, I have more glass pendants. Um, these do not have necklaces with them. They are the pendant alone. They will be $4 for choice. Option number one is this guy here. Option number two. Option number three, which I just love. And option number four. All beautiful. As you can see, I really like the glass pendants. I think they're great too. I love them. I don't know where Kathy. I I, I misplaced the your your pendant. Uh, it's here somewhere. I just can't seem to put my hands on it. I don't know what I just did. Anyway, I'll find it. Anyway, so yeah. So if anybody's in, these are really super pretty. Great to use in so many different ways. Porter's in. Hey, woman, hey. how you doing? All right, and ah, uh, Roberta, I didn't even know you were here. Hi, sweetie. Well, she was watching from the grocery store. I did not know <laughs> she's going to the grocery store. Hi, Roberta. So okay. now that we have 26 in chat, I just want you guys to be uh, remind you or just say one more time that tomorrow night we will have a guest seller of Vanessa. Vanessa will be joining Roberta and myself at 6.30 Eastern Standard Time right here on Denim to Diamonds. Guest seller, Vanessa. Yay, Yay. very excited. Okay. okay, which ones would you like, my dear? All right, come back, Roberta. Okay, just waiting for Kelly to make her decision. First and third, absolutely. Thank you very much. Well, I'm lagging. All right, congratulations and thank you so much. I know, poor Roberta. Uh, that girl, I tell you, I'm going to go pick her up. I'm going to take her on a long, long travel. She's only a few hours away from me. <laughs> it's like, come on, let's go. All right. Yeah, that's true. I'm, I'm muting it. There's all kinds of fire machines going by. All right, no problem. All right, the next item I'm going to show you guys. Now, this one is a little bit on the expensive side for the size that it is. This is what is known as garden quartz or iolite. I can't zoom here, so I'm not really sure how that's presenting, but this is quartz and inside it has inclusions and they look like a landscape. It yeah, just back it off a little bit. It's a little um, um, foggy, blurry. <laughs> I'm going to light it up, too. That might show it a little bit better. No, not really. Bye, 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 Gail. <laughs> That's funny. That's yeah. super pretty. Why, isn't that that's so similar to garden courts? It, it is the same thing. It is garden courts. And garden courts is a fortune. Yep. And what was this one? This one is $16. Buy it now. Now, this is not a crack. This is natural. You can see where it kind of continues down. That's a natural imperfection in the stone. 
Oh, that's a great idea, Roberta. She signed up her our granddaughter for uh, the gym for the summer. Oh, wow. Yeah, John's a lot of fun. He's going to be here Thursday, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Yeah, that'll teach her. <laughs> John, John is a, um, a fanatic about the gym. Yeah, he's, he'll pump her right up and get her get her to love the gym. He does all his best thinking on the elliptical. Yeah, Sophia decided the other day that she wants to do gymnastics. I'm like, oh, oh. that's great, though. My <laughs> niece was amazing at gymnastics. <laughs> all right, so if anybody's interested, where to go? Oops, right here. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody's interested? We're looking for a sixteen dollars. Buy it now. <laughs> Lisa, you're so funny. Yeah. I see. Uh, Serena got otherwise engaged. Uh, she is here in chat, and will be here probably periodically. Um, family life gets in the way sometimes, so uh, unless she gets an opportunity to pop in. Um, we may not see her tonight, but I would be sure to drag her in at another time. So that the door's open, Serena. Just come on in. All right. Next up is this guy, which I think is pretty cool. I'm going to bring it up on here first, just so you can see it against the black background. Ooh. Now this one is a wire necklace. appear to be glass beads as well as selenite selenite heart pendant extender chain um, i don't see any marks on this one get a measurement real quick I always get nervous when I turn it sideways and beads start moving. I, it's like I don't. Oh, really I know, but they usually have those little stoppers on the end. Selenite has um, healing properties, just like it does. Um, it charges crystals, and does it have anything amazing about it? Um, it does have its own healing properties as well. This one, um, including the extender chain, is twenty-one inch total length. It's gorgeous. I love the heart. It's just beautiful. The way this looked looks against this black bat background, I think, is just amazing. And what was your price on that, love? Um, this one I will do for $8. $8, John. $8. You hear that, John? $8. Oh, my God. Now, um, I'm bopping out of comments real quick so I can go to my list here so I can give some properties on selenite. I got you, girl. Um, selenite's a calming stone. It instills deep peace. It is excellent for meditation or spiritual work. It also assists with judgment and insight, clears confusion, and aids in seeing the deeper picture. Um, it's also said to align the sp spinal column and promote flexibility. Such a deal. Yeah, I mean, and, and the fact that that heart will be hanging right near your heart. <laughs> Cinnamon. <laughs> What'd she say? Wondering if John Basel was the model for the... <laughs> well, I know that came up in conversation a few times because he does look just like that. Well, I don't know about his butt, but I can tell you his abs do. Yeah, these guys give whole new meaning to rock hard abs. Yeah, that's his body. That's exactly John's body. All right, so we're going to pass on the selenite. No problem. Thank you for looking. All righty. Um... I'm going to think about that because I kind of like it, but we'll okay. wait and see what happens. Let me know, Sue. Uh -huh. What is going on here? There we go. All of a sudden, my phone wanted to, like, time out on me. I know. Phones are weird, but, you know, I I'm loving this venue. I really do love this. All right. Oh. I will show you guys one of these guys next. This is a natural stone beaded bracelet. It is um, the stretchy elastic. This one is calligraphy jasper, also known as um, golden silk jade. 
That's a great name for a calligraphy. This stone is beautiful. Again, I know it doesn't transition well onto the camera. Um, it's, it kind of has a, it's kind of similar to cat's eye in a sense. It's not solid and, and, uh, like it, it's more of a, um, uh, I would say closer to a cat's eye if you want to do comparison on its appearance. Right. The only difference really is cat's eye is more of a man-made stone. Right. Uh, but uh, she, she was asking if it was like a uh, milk glass. Milk oh, well, glass okay. is opaque and dark and solid. That right. is more translucent in spots, right? It does have a little bit of a um, a glimmer to it. Um, Kathy, I absolutely can ship to Canada, yes. Yeah, no, it's not. It's actually, um, uh, selenite is, uh, in some forms, it's very... Um, uh, uh, not that it splinters, but it, it, it's a it's a more porous type stone, right? Wouldn't you say, Lisa? Absolutely. Like you shouldn't really uh, get it wet. I mean, I tried to test the theory and stuck some in some water. To see I remember it. that. That was fun. Um, but like this, this is a piece of naturally occurring selenite. I have one of those. So that's pro yeah. So that's selenite in its natural form. So uh, th what they do is they then take something like that, and it comes in darker and less op less transparent um, in all different types. And this beauty right there is part of that. Um, so if, Kathy, if you're interested, just put your bid in, and you have to send your information to uh, Lisa at Fireside Crystals and G at Gmail. Dot com, or you could send it to me at Hope Floats Treasures Sales, uh, just so we can have all your information and have that ready to be invoiced right after auction, which is our normal. So uh, just put your uh, claiming your item, claim it by putting in the eight dollars. Was it eight dollars? Yes. And I also yeah, thank you, Sorry, so thank you, uh, girls. Yes, thank you very much, guys. Um, these are eight millimeter beads on the calligraphy Jasper bracelet, bracelet, and this one's a seven dollar buy it now. Seven dollar buy it now. Yes. I love these bracelets. Uh, Lisa, she'll, she'll tell you. She has them on her wrist. She wears oh. them day in and day out. Yep, and they, I never get these off. Look at that garden quartz. Oh my God. Four I have of one the of those. five of these I've had on for more than a year. And I work with them. I shower with them. I sleep with them. I mean, they're very sturdy. All right. So we're looking for $7 on this beaded bracelet. All right, Kathy likes the selenite at eight. Thank you, Kathy. All right. All right, Kathy, just send your information to uh, either one of us. We appreciate that. Thank you so, so much. All right, let me get that bagged up for you and you will enjoy this. It is a very pretty piece. That's a great piece, Kathy. Enjoy it. That's one of those ones that if it didn't go anywhere today, it probably never would have came back. I know. I, would have I, accidentally... actually, I, was, I was eyeing that baby up too. <laughs> that would accidentally slide into my jewelry box. <laughs> All right. It looks like we're passing on the bracelet, Lisa. Okay. Thank you, guys. And the last item I'm going to show before we bring it back over to Sue is this fun little um, piece here. This is a um, faceted black agate sphere. No stain fired on this one. It stands all on its own. Beth wants to know if you were selling the selenite um, uh, slab. Uh, the selenite slab is for sale. Uh, you know what, this one I'll do for 35. 35, Beth. 
this one is big. Um, let me find my tape here. Uh, and what's your, what's your estimated shipping on that? Selenite is light. So, I mean, honestly, I'd say between eight and ten dollars. OK, that's U.S. That's yep. U.S. Postal Service. Yep. Um, this one is nine and three quarter inches long by just over six wide. All right, Beth, just let me know. It'll be here. Awesome. Thank you, Beth. Okay. And then the sphere, this one, I can never get it off the inches once I move it. I have one the size of Alaska, one of those selenite slabs. I love it. Do you no, have any I, other selenite jewelry available? I don't believe I do. Um, when we bought back over to Sue, I can look, but I believe that was the only selenite jewelry piece I had. Okay. Thank um, you, love. And this, this is a 50 millimeter sphere, this faceted. And this one is a $30 buy it now. Oh, thank you, Cinnamon. $30 on the faceted, what is it? Uh, black agate. Look at that. It's got striations in it. Yeah, this thing is gorgeous. Wow, that is something. And yes, as Cinnamon said, um, selenite is primarily used to charge your other crystals. And that's what items like this are perfect for. Um, that's actually what I call this is a charging plate. I mean, you can set it down and you can put your towers. Your Thank you, Kathy. Right on top of that. It'll keep them nice and charged. Keep those healing properties on point. It can't hurt to put a couple of lights underneath to lay it flat on top. Oh, my gosh. I love mine. Yeah, you got like the master of all selenite. Yours yeah, I did. <laughs> Well, gotta have a few advantages being <laughs> one of your uh, tribe here. <laughs> Thank you for sending your in info, Kathy. Um, we are going to go ahead and pass on the black agate sphere, and we're going to kick it on back to Sue. Thank you, everybody. Okay. Um, let me just get that pass written in, and I will kick myself up. We're going to do some charm slash pendants. More charms uh, than pendants. They are sterling silver. Well, are you going to do them the same way? We're going to go by row. Okay, here I am. I'm not on my computer. So um, there's a few nice vintage ones in here. I did do a couple of these on Facebook yesterday, and some of them did sell. And uh, I wanted to present them to you guys. And if you like them, great. If not, I'm just going to drop this nice little container into a flat and get that out to a um, flea market. Okay, so I'm going to pull uh, five at a time, and uh, we're going to, I'll do them at buy it now. So it's easier that way. Okay, so we'll just uh, go that route. Okay, so this one, this one is signed Sterling. You're not getting the box. You're only getting the piece, okay? This is marked, this is a good luck. This is how charms, charm bracelets used to be, right? Um, Sterling. We're going to start, we're going to uh, sell these at, um, I'll do them eight for choice. Eight for choice. Good luck. The next one I have is marked C, big C, R-E-A, Stir, S-T-R, S-T-E-R. This is a Taurus. Oh, no, Virgo, Virgo. This is a Virgo, $8 for choice. This one is 925 marked. This one is mother. Mother. I mean, I, I'll take them out and show you if you guys are interested in any particular one. Um, Judith is a bin eight. Okay. That's great. Oh, she's in the store. Roberta, come play with us. Grandmother. Here you go, Roberta. Grandmother. And this one Serena. is Martha. Nine two five. Sorry, Serena's asking if you still have the horseshoe with the clover. I do. I do. I do. I do. And then we'll do this one. Uh, this one is friendship. Friendship. Sterling marked. 
Okay, so we're going to do those five. And who was first? I mean, who who was in? Uh, Judy Daly. Hi, Judy. Okay, so um, we'll do good luck as one. We'll do Virgo as two. Mother as three. Grandmother as four. And friendship as five. So just let me know which one or ones you would like at $8. The good luck one. You got it. All right. We're just going to drop that in. Good luck. All right. Thank you, Judy. All right. We're going to pass on the others. No problem. Put them to the side for now. Then we're going to go ahead and do these. Um, I'll do these for eight as well. This one is an M. Slide the um, chain right through the M. This one has no marks on it. That'll be number one. Eight dollars. Buy it now. Here is another M. This one has little clear stones. This one, no marks that I could find. That is number two. I'll do the little uh, gold vermeil. I would say on this one, it looks like a little coffee bean. Nine to five marked. Eight dollars. Buy it now. And I'll do these two. Um, it looks like a girl and a boy or a man and a woman. Both charms, sterling marked. I don't know what happened to the back, but they're both marked the same. So those will be eight for choice. In order, this M is one. This one will be two. Love the coffee bean or whatever this is. Number two, three. Um, the girl will be number four. And the boy will be number five. If anybody's interested in those for $8. Arena likes the clover horseshoe. Um, I didn't do that one yet. Okay. I'll, I'll pull that aside for her. You got it, Serena. M and M. Coffee bean. Girl and man. All right, no worries. We'll pass on those. That's okay. No, it's fine. It's fine. Don't be silly. All right, these we're going to do at $10. $10. I have the awesome fur coat. I just love, love, love this piece. This is marked S-T-E-R in the back. $10. I will do the stork. Carrying the basket or the baby. No marks that I saw. At least not, not that I see on my little thingy there. I have the um, little bird with the filigree marked sterling. These are 10 for choice. I will do the vintage girl. Love these. Marked bow sterling. And I'll do, 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 let's do this one for 10. Judith is first in at 10. Okay, then we have this one here. Beautiful, beautiful. Mark Sterling Theta, if I'm saying that right. T-H-E-D-A. Okay, and that'll be number five. So fur coat one, stork two, filigree with the bird three, girl four, and I guess that's Madonna. Five. All right. Who's first? Judy. Judith. Okay, Judith. Judy, let me know which one you want, love. Or ones. Whichever ones you want, dearie. There's some nice ones there. The fur. Yeah. This is awesome. This is awesome. Such a great looking piece. Congratulations, Judy. That is yours. If anybody else is interested, we have the other four still remaining. I'll just shove them to the side. Okay, we'll go back to $8. $8. 
I will do, you know what? I'll do these at $6, $6. I'll do the heart at six, buy it now. I'll do the little, looks like a Mayan, marked Mexico, Hencho Mexico, DF925, $6. I'll do, this is gold vermeil on this one, marked S-T-E-R, $6. Um, I'll do the hams a hand for six hams a hand for six. No marks that I could find. So we'll do those four at $6 for choice. Thank you, Lisa. If anybody's interested, I'm just going to put these away while you think about it. It was just so much fun exploring these little pieces and putting them under the microscope, checking them out. All right, we're gonna pass on those, no problem. All right, and then these will be $8, $8. I have the little floral basket with the little, looks like a CZ in there. This one's marked 925, cute little piece, nice big bale. I have this enameled Santa. Enameled Santa, Mark Sterling. Nice piece for that money. I have the anchor. The anchor, Mark Sterling. I have the teddy bear. This one has like almost like a proper bail, like to wear for on a necklace. 925. And I have this, Mark 925. So that's $8 for choice on those, if anybody's interested in those. Judith is in for eight. Okay, Judy, just tell me which one you want, sweetie. Whichever you want is yours. Anchor and Santa. You got it. That sand is a great buy at $8. Cool piece. Anchor and Santa. Thank you, thank you, thank you, girls and gents. Appreciate you. Thank you, Judy. All right. Um, all right. I have a couple of unique ones that I, I wanted to put up for a choice for bidding. Okay, I like to put these up uh, for auction, if that's okay. Um, just so you guys can go ahead and get the ones that you want. We'll put them up as auction. Plus, I don't really know what the value of these are. So, I'll just start them at a fair price. First, I have the Graduate. This one is marked Dancraft. Dan Dancraft. That's number one. I have the Booty. That is just in such good condition, the booty. And we'll start these at $10. I have the a little Indian. And I have the desk. That's so cool looking. And we'll start those at 10 they go with 10 that's fine too not a problem but a ten dollar starting bid if anybody likes any of those thank you thank you lisa love this booty just so cool looking i love my old pieces give you guys a few seconds to think about it Okay, um, I'm going to do one more auction piece for today. Pass on those. I'm going to start this little guy. This is sterling silver enamel articulating fish. He is going up for auction. He's in really nice condition. Purples and blues. And I'm going to start him at 12. 12 for the articulating fish. Starting bid, $12. 
super cute. Really nice condition this little guy is. It's got the little um, hook for the bail. I mean, the little bail for um, hanging. Kim's in at 12. Kim is in at 12. We're looking for 13. Thank you, thank you. Let's put this one up because he, he's, he's cool. If anybody's interested, we're looking for 13 or better on the great little purple enamel articulated fish. Polly is in at 13. Hey, Polly. I didn't see you pop in. How are you, dear? And got, Kim in at 14. It's got the little fins on the bottom. Fins in the back. He's in really good shape. Holly's in at 15. Thank you, ladies. I'm going to put him on this piece of amethyst I got from Lisa. Kim is in at 16. Oh, that amethyst. I love that. I know. I know this is my fave. Nothing like a fish on a piece of amethyst. Hey, Andrea. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Andrea. Welcome. Kim is high bid at 16. Holly is in at 17. Thank you, ladies. Kim in at 18. That fish is just adorable. Is he? And he's in such good condition. And Polly is out. Thank you, Polly. Hi, Baba. Hello. Is that James? Yep, he just got home from work and he brought me fresh fruit. Give me a smush. Hi, James. I would love hey. that fr fresh fruit grinded up with a little bit of vodka, please. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Sliced off some nice cold cherries. Yeah. Can you count that down, Lee? I absolutely can. I can never remember how you guys do this. Going once, going twice, fair warning, sold. Thank you. <laughs> Got it. Thanks, guys. You're awesome. Let's go into Kim for 18. Polly, thank you so much. All right, sold to Kim. Thank you, girls. Appreciate it. Okay, so I know that Lisa has this amazing magnifying glass that we all go crazy over. Well, Lisa and I went on a hunt. I was more successful than she was this time around. She has others coming in, so I want you to know that. So don't feel obligated. But I'm going to show you what I got. First, I got. I've been waiting for this. The magnifying glass necklace with the butterfly and the flowers. This is a five times magnifier. I have one of my own, and I love it. it I use it. I used it all day long, checking my jewelry, getting ready. It's got the magnet. These are brand new, and they fit. They they match all the requirements for nickel and lead and all the stuff like that. Super cool piece, very long chain with an extension. I'll get the measurements for you. So you got the butterfly. And the second one, there's three for choice, is the ladybug with the beautiful sunflower. Also the same magnet, super long. I love the enamel butter, um, ladybug. And There's yes, my turtle. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. The turtle. We got the turtle. We certainly did. And I'm going to put these up for auction if that's okay, because I have the three available today. I'm supposed to get more later today. We'll see what happens. This one has this, uh, what do you call this, Figaro style chain. Let me tell you how long. We're going to start these at $25 for choice. Bidding at $25 for choice. They measure. Thank you, Lisa. 
they measure 30 inches, 30 inches. We got the turtle, silver tone. Kelly is in at 25. Thank you. I'm happy you're home too, James. So you got the turtle, the butterfly, and the ladybug. They work so great. Mine, which is something that I have coming in, hopefully it'll be here for tomorrow night. I got myself a compass. I loved it. So I have a couple more supposed to be coming in today. I'll let you know tomorrow night. All right, you can go ahead and count it down. No worries. Aww. I love them. Super fun. All right, fair warning, guys. I know a lot of you guys like these. All right, sold to Kelly. Kelly. All right, Kelly, let me know what you like, girl. Do you want the butterfly, the ladybug, or the turtle? I don't think you need to ask her that question. I'm waiting to see. Can't tease, uh, James can't tease me anymore. <laughs> I guess she wants the turtle. There you go, Kelly. We told you we would find you one. Yep, and there he is. It wasn't easy either finding them. All right, he is in the bag, and he is ready to come home to you. You want to see the butterfly? Okay. That butterfly is gorgeous. I have one coming to me as well. They all are. I love this one too. <laughs> yeah, I think I have all of them now. You do. Except for the compass. Yes, yeah, so I still need a compass. All right, so what's her choice? Uh, she wants, she, oh, she wants them both. She uh, wants the uh, uh, ladybug, I mean the uh, butterfly and the turtle. Oh, wow. Awesome. Congratulations, dear. Okay. So Ladybug will put off to the side. Oh, what did I do with her bag? Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. I want to do a, a, a little lot. Uh, this is going to go up as a buy it now. We have the Sterling Silver Little Heart marked 925. That is one. I have this nice little vintage. Here's your bail. Cute little piece. That'll be number two. And this is number three. This is a really pretty piece, too. And the first person who comes in with a $10. Buy it now at $10. All three. Uh, thank you, Kelly. I love mine. I'm telling you, it's going to save my life when I go out shopping. The other ones, they just didn't have the uh, right magnifications, I guess. This is only five times, but it's really great. So $10 for all three, guys. If anybody's interested, you can put a little chain on these and probably sell them for more if you John. are a reseller. John's in at 10. Smart move, John. JB, $10. You got him, John. Okay. Um, I put this ring up yesterday uh, in Facebook. I'm going to bring it to you guys now, too. Um, it, it's getting ready to go out to flea market. That's why it does have a tag on it. I don't normally tag my items. This is a size six. This is moissanite. Testing is moissanite, sterling silver. Um, if you're going to ask me the color, I would say they're kind of in a, uh, I would say like a citrine. Let me get my magnifying glass. Hold on. 
And I can tell you, if I can open it. Okay. I would say they're like a champagne-ish color, uh, leaning towards a brown more than anything else. And I'll do this at 30, buy it now. Yep, you got it, John. 30, buy it now on the Moissanite Sterling Silver Size 6. All those little Moissanites, they're not as cheap as they are for uh, CZs. We all know that, right? Really pretty piece. If you're a size six, it's a great item. All right. And the last piece I'm going to put up. Um, I was thinking about doing this tomorrow. I'll do it today. The last piece that is available, if anybody's interested, it is gorgeous. They are. This is a amazing metal this thing weighs a ton i put it on this really cool sterling silver what i call dot dot dash i'm sure it has a better name um sterling silver chain i love this chain i was looking for more of a vintage chain but i didn't have one available it is inscribed on the back love ada 7 1973 um let me tell you what it says way down yonder hold on it says creed creed sterling creed sterling let me tell you the measurement of the chain the measurement is nice uh, lobster claw on the chain it is an 18 inch chain nice old piece um i'm gonna do this at 50 dollars. buy it now five zero buy it now it is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous piece. I look at the thickness of that. This is not, no um, light-hearted thing. It is inscribed. If you wanted to get that buffed out, you could. It's not that difficult. Um, but I personally like it. It tells a story. I don't mind that. That's just me personally. But this is just a great piece. And the chain. The chain is phenomenal. Um, Sue, Kelly is asking about the magnifying glass. She said she was wanting the butterfly. Oh, I thought she wanted both. She only wanted the butterfly? Yeah, okay. um, yeah she might have been asking to see the other one again. Kelly, you just want the butterfly. Okay, no problem. I thought you wanted the... I'm glad you said... I thought you wanted the turtle and the butterfly. So that is no problem. You got the butterfly, dear. I'll just take out the turtle. He wants to crawl back over here. There we go. No problem. Thank you, dear. Thanks for saying so. Appreciate that. Again, an amazing piece. With an amazing chain. And that is $50. Buy it now. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and kick you on over to Lisa. Let's see what else she's got for us today. And I will pull out some costume pieces for you as well, some signed brooches. All righty, so uh, Lisa, let's see what you got, sweetie. Can't wait to see. Okay, thanks, guys. Thank you, Sue. James might even pop in on this round and shove a coin or two. All right, no problem. All right, we're going to start off with this little guy. This is a Trafari marked brooch. It is I'm a glad copy. you did, Kelly. Thank you so much. Sorry about that. That's okay. It would dogwood. Let me see if I, I can't see the mark here. I mean, you won't be able to read it, of course, but there's your mark. Where's that magnifying glass? I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> turtle, man. Show it off. <laughs> Nobody can have it. Well, Sue has one now. All right, there you go. Beautiful. All right. Nice. It's a very familiar brooch. Yes. So I am going to do this one for a $5 buy it now. <laughs> Trafari Dogwood Flower. Bin $5. I mean, this thing is in great shape. 
It's so pretty. Safari. Polly got that at five. Sorry, oh. Stephen. Polly beat you in. Thank you very much, Polly. Thank you, though, Stephen. Yep, thank you, Stephen. I appreciate it. Uh, sorry, Denise. It was a buy it now, dear. A buy it now at five. Thank you, though, Denise. Yep, thank you, Denise. Here you go, Anna. Is there something you oh. want to show when I put this yeah, man, that, my bag up here? I'll show this, man. These are super cool. I know you guys are jewelry people. You're not into coins and stuff. Thank you, and Denise. Thank you. These are silver. So, anybody who likes silver, anybody who likes old stuff, anybody who was around during the bicentennial. What? That was my graduation. Look at that. Well, this is up your alley. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't have one of those yet. Fresh from the mint back in 1976. Still in the cellophane, not even toning anymore. <laughs> this is the uncirculated <laughs> set. Fun not to interrupt you, but yeah. Kelly just said, I'm getting a butterfly, Jane, so I don't need your turtle now. <laughs> Susie's nice to me. Yeah, right? <laughs> right? That horrible Lisa check, man. You know? I was like, give her the turtle. I'm like, just put it in the box for her for free. And she was like, no. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm just kidding. She didn't say that. These have the special reverses on them. There's your drummer boy, the moon with the Liberty Bell, and Independence Hall. These are cool. These are all 40% silver. Okay. Comes with the cool little red pouch. And that is for a buy it now of 20. Wow. Yeah. That's, That's a great price. Buy it now of $20 on this. Okay. Let me know if you guys dig on it. If not, cool. I got one other thing to show. It's another bicentennial thing. And guys, we do encourage you to look things up if you want to and come back and re and ask for as long as we're here. Uh, and if you want to private message anybody that you see something that you like and think about it later, don't hesitate to reach out to us. As long as it's available, it can be yours. Thank you, Kathy. Um, that's sold to Kathy. That's yours, Kathy. Awesome. Thank you, sold. Kathy. Thank you so much. Now. This is also bicentennial. Okay. This comes with the box, slides into it. This is super cool. These are silver proofs. Let me see if I can get that out of there. There we go. These are the proofs. Special die. Look at that. You can see us in the background there. Thank you, Kathy. Special die, Kathy. You're awesome. Here it is here in the proof. See the way that's different there? And it comes with your presentation book. The coins go in there. That's this is nice. the proof that it goes into there, flips up. You've got everything still in here. Look, even the binder holder there. And this is your little piece of paper, just a little cool behind it. Okay. Give you some history on it who designed it, everything like that, prized for their virtually flawless beauty. Struck twice by highly polished dyes to obtain the mirror-like surface. Okay. Um, these are super, super cool. And these are a buy it now. I have two sets. I managed to get two sets of these. I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. $20. Huh. 25 you, for these. I was going to say you broke up. I didn't hear you. Okay, 25. Yep. Buy it now. Two sets available. All mint marked S. And these are the proofs. Look at that mirror finish on them. These are great gifts for young guys. I mean, I, I, I gave my son a whole boatload of them. Look at that. And he's not young. Beautiful. These Kathy's in at 25. Kathy, oh, you got it, you Kathy. Like one set or both sets? Let us yeah. know if you want one or both. And does it matter, James? They're both the same, right? They're both identical. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Who is this? Kathy. Kathy. Yes. Thank you, Kathy. Appreciate you. That is great. You're going to love this set. 1976. These are silver. 40% each piece. And there's awesomeness. Woohoo! 
All right, Kathy, we're giving you the one. Yep, she's got the one set. Perfect. Just the one set. Thank cool. you, Kathy. We still have Love another it. set. If anybody else wants that one, that's totally cool. You know what I mean? That'll be around. Um, I guess I should. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I don't want to like overload you guys with coins. Here, show some amethyst. I will show an amethyst. <laughs> there we go. And then I'll show you guys something cool. I'll show you guys something cool there. Okay. Beautiful piece of amethyst here, though. Gorgeous piece. This is cool. It came off of a face. You know, like that was bopping out of the side of something. Beautiful piece. Beautiful lavender colors in it. Points look good. Everything's in it nice and tight. And how much is this piece, love? Uh, 18 18 dollars. Oh. One of uh, Kathy's boys was bapt was born in 1976 and baptized on the 4th of July. Oh, there you go, man. That is awesome. Wow, Kathy. That's awesome. That is awesome, man. That is such a cool thing. I love the way that stuff works out. This is three inches long, east to west. I was also born in 1976, so I have all of those sets of my own, too. <laughs> yeah, I got Lisa uh, that silver set years ago. Lisa, you were born in 76? I was. I graduated high school in 76. <laughs> <laughs> so are you, am I immature or are you mature? Which is it? I'm going to have to say you're immature because I'm okay. definitely not mature. <laughs> I'm immature, so. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the immature one. Okay. No interest in this. Totally cool. Totally cool. We're all 18 at heart. <laughs> you know what I mean? Thanks for looking at that, though. That is a beautiful piece. Like I always say, the camera does not do this tough justice. Okay. Um, one of his was born on 4th of July, and his middle name is Freedom. That oh, is so absolutely, cool. man. An independence baby. That is killer. Wow. Let's that is so cool. This is nifty. I love that, Kathy. That's awesome. Dun, dun, dun. Nineteen fifty-nine Canadian mint set. Now you're talking around the year I was born. Now we're getting close. <laughs> okay. It is this is eight hundred silver, eight hundred silver, eight hundred silver, eight hundred silver, not silver, not silver. 35 bucks today. Now, the penny does have some verdress going on there. She's starting to turn green. Moisture must have gotten this thing somewhere. You said 35, right? James? Yes, ma'am. Okay. These are starting to tone. The silver is starting to tone. The dime, the quarter, the half, and the dollar are starting to tone up a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. And look how young Elizabeth looks on this. 1959. Oh, my God. Everybody's interested. There's the coat of arms. I can't remember when she was coronated, though. Was that 58? I don't know. History wasn't my best subject. Comes <laughs> in the capital holder. This is plastic. It's awesome. So any interest in that? Holla for 35. Thank you, good James. Silver. That's awesome. Good silver there. And it's not everyone's forte. Piece of jewelry, baby. Uh, right there, the one on. I didn't show that yet. I just put Ooh. that one up. Look at this. That's a wire necklace. Okay. Beads uh, are wooden. And that's ocean jasper. And Lisa, if he's going to present, can you call for him? I'm, I'll be right back. Here we go. Look at this necklace. And cinnamon said natural tones, coins are worth money. Oh, yes, they are. And cinnamon, um, reach out to me later, too, about that. Uh, the problem with your post office. Let me know if you were able to get that resolved. Okay, beautiful. Wooden bead. And then seed beads. These are probably just glass. Seed beads is probably glass or something. Okay, it does flex in like that because it is a wire loop in there. Okay, there's your where you would hook it up at. Beautiful piece. Love this piece of OJ in there. Ocean Jasper. That's Ocean Jasper. Let's give that a little bit more light there. There we go. How gorgeous that is. And how much is this piece going That one for? is eight. This is eight dollars. Wow. Ah, trying to run away from me. Eight dollars today. 
beautiful piece. I'll show it on the bust here. I was just moving this out of the way, moving the bust. Oh, okay. Well, you know, I'm a, I'm, I'm a hands-on type of guy. All right, so I'll just move this here. Look how beautiful that is. That lays so nicely, too. Okay. And how much was that? $8. Buy it now. $8. Buy it now. Right. Super cool, man. Love these little beads on it, man. The oranges, the turquoise. All right, we're passing on that one. Pass. Get rid of it, man. Throw it away. Throw it away. Um, we want to see rocks. We want to see coins. Who do you want to see what's in back. Let me move this out of the way here. This is an Orthoceros plate. Orthoceros. Uh, related to the squids. Um, these are millions and millions of years old. They find these, they polish them up. This is the shell. It's rare to see anything left from the squid that was living in it back about 200 million years ago. There it is, what it looks like rough. Here it is here. I mean, you can show this like this. You can stand it also. Okay, this would come with the stand. This thing is big. Um, this is $70. 75 $75, okay. See? That's why Lisa's here. She corrects me. This is eight and a half inches by seven inches. So that's... Yep, there you go, John. Straight shelled cephalopods. That's right. It's the eight by seven. Beautiful piece. I mean, I love that they got these all lined up here. I love mine. Mine's a tower. Mine is absolutely fabulous. Your tower is lit. I, that, I that thing is enormous. Mm -hmm. to, mm -hmm. I mean, Zeus Tower is, imagine taking this and bending it around on four different sides. Yeah, uh, exactly It's about right. that thick, the tower. Her tower is about that thick. Each of them. I love it. Four I sides. To I beautiful. display my jewelry on it sometimes. I just love yeah. it. Yeah. And that's seventy dollars right there. Seventy-five. 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 Let me uh, move. Yeah, that's good. At heat that. Isn't that awesome, Kathy? Kathy, you're a crystal and uh, uh, minerals kind of girl. I can tell. That's Look awesome. That. Um, Lisa says it's best to show it this way. Well, just on that particular stand. I yeah, if you have a different stand, you know what I mean. I mean that is just hotness right there. And for seventy-five, that is such a deal, as John Based House says. It took you a long time to get a hold of those two, right? Yeah, yeah. They are not easy to come by anymore, man. I don't know. I mean, these things died by the trillions in the seas back in the Cretaceous period. But, you know what I mean? I guess they're just having a hard time finding them now. So, 75 on that. Any interest in that? Let us know. Holler, man. Be more than happy to put that in a box for you and ship it on out to you. <laughs> You're so accommodating, James. Oh, I live to serve. There we go. And I think this is our last piece. Yeah, sure. Do you want to do a coin? Show another coin. I'll show a coin. Does anybody want to see coins? What do you guys like in that area? Do you not care? Do you not like, hey, I'm not into this? I mean, I can show these guys. These chaunters. How is, how's about... We do. Look at that. 1908 Indian head penny. Those are great. Fire. Okay, I'll get the magnifier. There we go, I'm baby. Sorry, I'm like, yeah, yeah you're over there like rooting through jewelry. She, Lisa's having a time over here. Okay. <laughs> I don't know where the camera is here. There it is. Don't know if you guys can see that. Oh, that's awesome. A ring and a pendant. No way. That is a <laughs> Indian head penny. No diamonds on it, though. Three bucks. $3 for the 1908 Liberty head. I mean, Liberty head. Full Liberty Indian head penny. 
And I got the craziness here too. I got 1888, 93, 95, 01, 3, 4, 6, and 7. I'm sorry, what was the uh, buy it now Three. on that? $3. $3. Three dollars, guys. Indian penny. Cool piece. Yep. Great for jewelry. Beautiful piece. Do you know they sell them? Uh, I, one of the mints sells them uh, encased in something. They are not cheap. No. Indian heads have become very hard to find now. They have gone insane in price. Um, back, what, three, four months ago, uh, you could grab an Indian head for 50 cents a box. Now, you can't touch them. Pappy likes it They're for crazy. Break. And that was what, the 08, right? Yes, 1908. Liberté. There we go. Thank you, ma'am. If you're interested in other ones, I do have them. They do vary in price, though. I have them from three dollars to eleven to twenty-five. Some people, you know what I mean. Some people would balk at twenty-five dollars on a penny, but other people don't. I don't. Shoot, I've spent hundreds on single coins thank you very much kathy thank, thank you kathy. kathy like that one there that's 25 pounds. cool beans all right so let's kick it back over to sue yep we'll kick it back over to sue you can bring up some more next time all, all right guys um i'm gonna uh go back to auction because i have a bunch of brooches and um i mean a, a bunch of brooches so these are uh, pretty much either vintage or signed. I don't know why my computer is doing this. I'm sorry, guys. I'm working on a Chrome book. It's very difficult oh, um, yeah. to get it to work. Some give me a hard okay. time. Is so, it an, uh, or because we were thinking about grabbing one for this stuff. No, a, you don't want a Chrome book. I mean, okay. well, you you can do it, but since I'm the host. I'm right the one up. that's, see, I just, I can get you up. I can't get me up. Hold on. Let me try one more time. Yeah, take your time. Take your time, man. We're here. I'll entertain. Yeah, there we go. All right. So guys, I got a boatload of, of brooches. I I put this here because there's a mirror and I wasn't going to have you guys, uh, you know, hanging out. So uh, how we're going to do this is I'm going to put these brooches right here for you. And we're going to do uh, start them at a low price and we're going to do them at auction. Everything here from that I'm doing with these brooches will start at auction price. So my starting bid for these will be uh, $6, $6. So you have number one. This feels almost like a uh, um, an acrylic, but it's rough. It's almost, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of like maybe it was a fabric and then it was coated with something. You guys may know better than me. Okay, that is number one. Kim is in six. We have this little vintage guy here. A uh, little bit of something going on there. There's this one. That's number two for choice. I'll do this enameled signed shell. That'll be number three. I'll try and give you five. Um... Number four, uh, let's see. I'll do this one for number four. This one is signed Art. This is Art, A-R-T. That's number four. And number five, I'll give you this really cool, what looks like a feather to me. This one is unmarked. Unmarked with the faux pearl. So there's your five for choice. Five for choice. My bid is $7 with jewelry by Denise. Thank you, Denise. And thank you, Kim. Some nice pieces. I do have some signed pieces in here. I did separate these when I was putting my lot together the other day. Kim. So, um, all right, you can count it down. Kim is out.
Denise, Lisa likes to go on silent mode. I feel like she disappears <laughs> on me. I mean, usually I have Roberta saying, go once, go once, go twice, go fair warning. And Lisa goes mute. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't want James Jamie rifling through his coins. I didn't want okay. you to hear that noise. Denise, I will do number one, number two, number three, number four, or number five. Your choice, my friend. And uh, I need your information. You can send that right here to Hope Floats jewelry sales at gmail.com please one two and four one two and four there you go and thank you so much dear appreciate it uh kim do you want either of the other two for seven dollars seven is the uh winning bid if you're interested in either of those two for seven, please let me know. Kim likes number five. Number five. You got it, Kim. Thank you, dear. I have to plug in. All right. You got it. Let's push this one to the side. These are signed brooches I did not um, research at all. This one is signed Robin Han, it looks like. Didn't research it. I don't know it. That is number one. We're going to start these at uh, $10. Number one. This is a second one here. Has this really cool looking bead right there. This one, I don't know if I can pronounce it, so I'm going to just try and show it to you without strangling myself. Sugar Vision is in at 11. Hi, bub. This is signed Dina, some long ass name. Let me see. Dina Panagopoulos, something like that. Okay, that's number two. I will put in, let's see, at that price range, there's not that much else that I see available. Oh, here, I'll put in the super old piece. The super old piece. I don't know what's going on with this piece, but I'll put this one in too. That'll be number three. Um, and I'll put in this vintage piece. A little combination of metals going on there. All right, let's just do those four. 10 is a little high for me. I don't like to start my brooches that high. Steven, you're in a 10, silly man. All right, so you can count it down to Steven. I don't see any other interest. Steven's in a 10, not 11. Going once to Steven. Going to oh, Andrea snuck in, and so did Mike. Uh, Mike, or uh, well, Hi, I Mike. Green Sue, if it works the same way, but they both came in at twelve. And yeah, sugar however you however it shows up on your screen, you're the one calling. Okay, Sugar Vision fourteen, Mike fifteen, Sugar Vision sixteen. Older than dirt. That's right, John. Vintage, vintage. That's how John calls vintage. Mike was napping. <laughs> Mike was napping. Well, hi, buddy. Mike in at 17. James had some coins. You missed them. Sugar Vision. Oh, he's got plenty, he's saying. Sugar Vision in at 18. Mike in at 20. Sugar Vision, 21. I'm sorry, guys. I'm still learning everybody's names. Andrea is out. Steven is Sugar Vision. Okay. Mike at 22. Thank you, Sue. Thank you, Andrea. Steven is in at 23. Thank you, Andrea. Mike in at 24. Steven in at 25. We have ourselves an auction. Yes, we do. There must be something up there they like, right? And Mike is out. I All don't right. Think there was anybody else 
So we're going to go once. We are going to go twice. Fair warning, guys. Last chance. Last chance. There's my Lisa. And sold to Steven. Congratulations. Nice bidding, guys. Sorry. Uh, Steven will go one, two, three, four. JB said they want the Griffin. <laughs> <laughs> yep, they do. He does. Yep, for one. <laughs> If anybody else is interested in any one of those at $25, I'd be happy to sell them. If not, no worries. They'll come back at a later date. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you, Mike. And thank you, Andrea. What does two say? Two is Dina. Hold on. Um, I'll spell it. Get ready to write it down so you can figure it out. The last name is P. A N A G. Maybe you could type it in. O P O U L O S. Let's see if I can type it in. All oh, right. you want two as well? Okay. Yep. Dina Papalopoulos or some stuff in like that. Um, Andrea, I will let you know. Hold on one second. Thank you, Stephen. That said, Robin looks like Han, H A or Ma. I don't know. That's why I don't research. I can't figure these out. And it's got a number on it down here. Stephen, if you know it, maybe you want to let them know or not. <laughs> you keep it to yourself. It's a secret. Okay. All right. Uh, if any, uh, Mike or Andrea, if you want either one of these for 25, uh, you're welcome to them. But if not, no big deal. We'll bring them back some other day. All right. So we're going to start the next round at five dollars. Five dollars. Uh, this one is a Crown Trafari marked right here. Five dollar start. That'll be number one. This is a cool little brooch. It's got a Can little mark down there. Oh, wait. This is broken. Oh, no, it's not. It goes like this. I guess. I don't know. No, it has to go like this. And that'll be number two. Thank these, you, Kim. These ladies aren't even finishing letting you finish. <laughs> well, they see something they like. <laughs> I'll do this one, which is also a Trafari. Let me see if it's a crown. Yep. Came in at seven. Crown Trafari. Denise in at eight. Came in pretty, at nine. Pretty decent condition. Okay. I have, uh, let's see what this one is. No, I don't like that one. Uh -uh, that one's going to go with a different one. Let's see. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Denise in at 10. I don't know. So much to choose from. I'll do this one here. No marks or signatures that I could find. Kim is out. Okay. So that is number four. And one more. One more. I'll do these leaves. Look like leaves to me. I either put it in here because I thought it was older or it was marked. This one is not marked. So those are your five choices. All right. Five bid is Denise at 10. Kim is out. Catch a bunny by its toe. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, ladies. Going once. One, two, three, four, five. going twice. Fair warning, guys. Any other interest on these? All right. Sold to Denise. Congratulations, Denise. Again, dear. One, two, three, four, four, five. 
Thank you, girls. I appreciate your bids. Okay, I'll do one more round, Lisa, and then I'll uh, kick it back over to you. Denise likes one and four. One and four. Thank you, Denise. All right, so you can offer that to whoever was back up. Um, Kim, that Kim likes number two. Number two. Okay, $10 sold to Kim. And thank you so much, Denise. That is yours at 10 each. And this is going to Kim, and these we're going to kick away. All right, um, this one, another round. I'm going to start these at $5 as well. This is a JJ. JJ. Let me just put this over here so I can bag it. Uh, this one is... Kim is in at five. A JJ as well. Um, this one is a BSK. BSK. Denise in at six. That's a BSK. Um, let's see. I put this little guy in. This one is signed. BSK as well. And I'll put in this monster brooch. I don't think I saw any marks on this one. I'll double check it for you. A little bit of uh, surface wear there. I don't know if that could be cleaned up, but this is huge. I think I put it in here just because I like it. I don't see a mark. So two BSKs, two JJs, and a monster. My bid is with Denise, and Kim is out. Six dollars is the current bid. Okay. Go ahead, count it. All right, going once. Going twice. Fair warning. And sold to Denise. Congratulations again, Denise. Thank you, girls. Uh, again, I'm sorry. One, two, three, four, or five. Two and three. Two and three. You got it. Okay, that is going to Denise. Two and three at six dollars each, was it? Yep, six dollars wow, each. Wow, that's a freaking bargain. Holy cow. And Kim was also bidding on those. So Kim, would you like any of the three that are left? You're welcome, Denise. Thank you. You got it, Kim. All right, I'm going to kick it on over to Lisa and James. Let them, uh, I don't know if anybody's interested in an alabaster owl. Um, I do have some information on this guy. I can bring this guy back if you guys are interested. I'm not going to bother you with him if you're not, but he is fabulous. He's all alabaster. Okay, so let's kick that over to Lisa and James. Thank you so much, everybody. Hola. Hi, James. Hey. We're going to pop around here real quick. I'm going to show a couple of coins, and then we'll get into the jewelry. Oh. And everyone's, like, grown. Should but I set this aside? No. Well, Mike is here. Mike likes coins. Mike likes coins. I like coins. You like coins. I Everyone do. Everyone likes coins. We use coins every day. We now, do. I did just get this little guy in. Okay. Um, this is super cool. Okay. This is a 50 cent piece from Australia. It's a tiger shark. It's a half ounce pure silver. 
It's not this. Mine's nicer. Baby. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yours is nicer. Yours is nicer. Baby shark. Um, Don't do that, no please. Toning. Yeah, right. This does have some toning on it. Looks like it might have a fingerprint coming up on there. You know, I would definitely put it into a different flip. Yep. But I'll check that right now. Excuse me, guys. I'm bailing yep. out for a second. Yep, yep, no yep. problem. This would be a buy it now of 24, though. Pure silver. Yes, cinnamon loves coins too. Oh, cinnamon's here. Oh, that's right, cinnamon girl. So this would be a buy it now of 24 for the tiger shark. What kind of shark? Tiger shark. A what? That's a Jaws reference. All right, let's see if I can do this here. There we go. Nope. How cool that is. Very cool. Tiger Shark, 24 bucks. Very nifty. Okay. Yeah, he actually got two of those, but yeah, I still one, one. Yeah, one one to Lisa. She still has seller's regret about her Australian. <laughs> Does she? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Yeah. She knows where yeah. it is. Couldn't have gone to a better person though. Oh no, no, right? no. We're totally happy it went to you. Okay, so we'll bob through a couple of these. This is a Morgan Silver Dollar from 1886. Look at that nice one. Beautiful toning on them. Philadelphia Mint. Still can see some breast feathers on them. This is a buy it now of $40. 90% silver from 1886. Papa. Love my Morgans, but I gotta pair them down. Mike likes it at 40. There you go, yeah, Mike. That, that's a great buy. There you go. Um, excuse me, Denise. I'm having trouble getting into my email you, because of my uh, computer situation. Uh, no worries, because if I don't have it, I could if I if I didn't get it, I could get it from Roberta. So no worries on that, dear. Thank you so much. Yep. Congrats, Mike. Awesome. Beautiful coin there. Okay. Let's do an 1879. Now, this lady is hot. Hot, hot, hot. Look at that. Ooh. Where'd you get all these? I don't remember these. These are personal collection, man. I got to pare it down some. Uh, <laughs> that's got to be painful. Look at that. Look how beautiful this one is. Nice breast feathers on it. Let's see if I can't bring them into focus. This one is gorgeous. It is Philadelphia minted also. No mint mark there, right? Yep, no mint mark. And this one would be, what one is this one? 1879. You would do 55 on this one. This thing's, I mean, in my opinion, that's almost uncirculated. Buy it now, 55? Yep. yep. Mike likes it for 55. Oh, you got it, Mike. Thank you, sir. You're going to love this coin. This thing is nice, man. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. And we got this one here. 1884. Mike said it's a that thing is beautiful, man. That that one is nice, man. And he said thanks again. No, thank you, Mike. That's almost as nice as that um uncirculated one that I just picked up. Man. Yeah. You know. Um let's see if I can get this. 1884. This one has been in this flip for a long time. That is not my writing. Look how gorgeous that is. Flip it. Beautiful on it. A little bit of breast wear, but you can still see some of the feathers. We're going to do 
this 1884. Oh, New Orleans Mint for 50. 50 bucks for the 1884 O. Had this for a long, long, long time, as you can tell by the price that was written on it years ago. <laughs> Very cool. Very super cool. Mike likes there you go, Mike. Mike's a Morgan lover like me, man. Who doesn't love Morgans? I don't know, man. If you don't like Morgans, uh, I kind of got to be like, what's the matter with you? I mean, it's an investment. You know how much they're going to be worth? Oh, yeah. They've gone up every single year. Just to show off here a little bit. This is a show off, Mike. Okay. This is a show off. Not for sale. 1885. Is that the one you got from Gordon? No, no. Look at the feathers on that. That is almost uncirculated. <laughs> that is almost uncirculated, man. That is hot. You are a Morgan. That is hot. You know? Yeah, I don't know how that wound up in the bin. I bought this out by accident. Here, you want to do some? Yeah, let's do some jewelry, man. Before people are like, oh, God, Jim, just shut up. Costume brooches. Okay. Costume brooches for choice. Oh, this is cool. That is really pretty. Thank you so much, Mike. I really do appreciate you. You are awesome. We knew what you meant, girl. We knew what you meant. Okay. This is that one? That is faux pearl. Faux pearl. It did not pass the two scratch test. It is faux <laughs> pearl. Okay. Let me move them to the side. That's my loopies. There's option number two. Here's option number two. Oh, a little bit fuzzy there. Nice closure on it. It's beautiful, man. Glass beads, I'm assuming. Yes. Almost reminds you of like a citrine color, though. So we have these two for how much, baby? Well, hold on. There's this one. Oh, we got there's three. More, there's more. Oh, wait, there's, there's more. Because that's the marked one, and that feels like a pearl. Okay. Lisa said this one feels like a pearl. Now, this is marked back here. It looks like it says Lund on Lund. it. I don't know. Yeah, L-U-N-D. Where the hell is it? I can't find it now. It's in the middle. In the, it's in the middle. Oh, the little circle. Hold on. Hold right on. There. I'm trying to find it. It's hard with the loop. Yeah, no one's ever going to see that. Yeah, and that's hard to see. But that's pretty cool. Yeah. Just knowing where it's marked, sometimes they just recognize it. They're good yeah. that way. Oh, but she said she thinks this may be a real pearl, and it's a choice of three. Tooth. See what you think. I don't know, man. I can't tell nothing. You can tell. Rub it on your tooth. I don't want to put this in my mouth. I don't know where it's been. <laughs> yeah, it's really gritty, man. Yeah. That is, like, super gritty. <laughs> Brushed my teeth before this show. Jeez. Uh, baby doll? Um, $3 choice. $3 choice. $3 choice. All right, starting bid. Beautiful piece here. Lovely, lovely. Faux pearl oh. there. Almost looks like citrine, but they're glass. Very pretty there. I don't know the flowers. And then this one here that is very gritty on the teefers. I mean, it does have some like tarnishing going yeah. on here. Super cute. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I like them. I do. I like them too. I know. I don't do brooches. Me neither. These all, um, I actually inherited. But these, these are Nana brooches. These yes. are Nana brooches. These are from Lisa's grandma that we, after she passed, we wound up with them. So I love Nana were, brooches. I can guarantee you these were bought sometimes between the 40s, 50s, or 60s, possibly 70s. Nana passed in her mid eighties a couple of years ago. Rest in peace, Nana. Oh, Nana, Nana was, awesome. was awesome. Sue, you would have adored her. Uh, I bet. She was a firecracker, man. She was a chip dropping, f bomb dropping little old Italian lady. <laughs> you know what I mean, man? All right, looks like we're passing. All right, Pass. passing on those. Nobody likes Nana's pins. Nana's gonna be pissed. Dude. 
<laughs> <laughs> She's probably right there next to you right now going, what? Those were good. Those buy were awesome. him, buy him, buy him. <laughs> Just kidding around, everybody. Just kidding around, everyone. What would you like to show next, huh? Uh, do you have another coin you want to show? If not, you can show the selenite thing on the bobber. Oh, okay, there, I'll show or... a selenite thing on the bobber. Or, well, you know what? Maybe Mike will like this. I, I don't know. I mean, Mike seems to be a um, Morgan guy, but I'll show this again. It's a Canadian mint set, it's 800 silver. 800 silver, 800 silver, 800 silver, 800 silver. The nickel is not. And the penny is starting to show some um, tarnishing, if you will. Or I'm Virgil. playing in my brooches. Let's get my little thingy in here. See if I can show that. Mike's in at 35. Mike likes it. I didn't even have to type. You go, Mike. Yeah, Mike's quick. I like it. You see that there, though, Mike? It's got a little bit there. I can't get that thing to focus. Oh, I have a piece of cord stuck in my finger. But the rest of it is cool. Ow, ow. Starting to go get a pair of tweezers, babe. I got it. Toning, toning, toning. These things are toning up beautifully. Beaver, sailboat, <laughs> caribou arms and a couple of guys in a canoe from 1959 beautiful piece for a 35 there we go. all right sold move on sold sold garnet <laughs> bracelets move on. garnet bracelets guys ladies and gentlemen these are beautiful garnet bracelets they have different charms on them let me give you the millimeter size on these beads though because I think, I think they were like seven they were a weird size yeah they were weird and a half this one's showing me six and a half that one's showing me 6.4 i mean crazy okay so anywhere between six and a half and seven we have a sun these are all stretch a sun moon and a star a sun and moon see him there he's like chilling with the sun he's what's like the starting bid nine dollars Nine dollars choice. Is it st starting bid or bin? Uh, eh, let's do, let's do starting bid. Okay, starting bid nine dollars. Okay. All garnet, natural garnet beads, there, guys. Yep. Yeah, I don't know if you're looking. And a moon that. and star on that one. January babies. Get out my gem light here. Look at those garnets light up. Beautiful. Starting bid at nine dollars. Beautiful. Are base metal. They are not sterling. They are great. Love them. I, I got oh. mine on the way. These are the last four, right? No. Yeah. No, I have a bunch, but <laughs> yeah. I mean, we could take the whole pond showing off those bracelets. All right. All right, right. passing on this passy way, but all of this stuff is available. If you decide later on, just contact us. I mean, Lisa never sleeps; she's pretty much a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what I mean, I think she's immortal at this point. You know. All right, okay. passing on the bracelets. Great. What do we have next. My queen never sleeps. We have a say it mortar and pestle. Because <laughs> she doesn't like the way I say it, so it's a. Mortar and pestle. Thank you. Okay. Soap stone, mother of pearl, triple moon inlay. There we go. On both sides. Good depth in it, too. Good depth. Uh, we're going to do that one for a 15 buy it now today. 15 buy it now. 15 buy it now. You want to buy my calipers? It's 50 bucks. It's <laughs> 56 millimeter. Opening two and a quarter inch opening. These are great. Some of the people are using them for crushing up their puppies' medicine and stuff. Some people use them for their tea for that. I mean, really get the tea leaves going and stuff. This is good stuff. This is carved, all carved, made in India. And it's a 15. Love it. Okay. 
you have another coin you want to pull up? Sure. I just turn around and I can find a coin. All right. We're passing on that. Thanks for guys. The matter, Lisa, you running out of stuff? Huh? No, <laughs> you no. I just know that uh, Mike's here and Mike really enjoys the coins. So. That is so awesome of you. I like to see the coins too. I like the history. I can never. Why don't you I ask how they feel that. about it before? No, you know? no, we'll just leave it be. We'll just leave it be. There's a coin and it causes a reaction. It's a historical coin, but it does cause a reaction. Then, um, well, it, it may not be permitted on YouTube, so you yeah. may want a private message. Yeah, that's you what think I said. Might leave be it. interested. Yeah, anybody wants to see something that's like really super cool. It's historical. I did not abide, do not abide by any kind of hate, but it was cool and it's from 1939. So that should give you a pretty good indication of where we're at with it. This is cool though. Wartime coin. Walker, 1918. Half dollar. She is worn. $13 for the half. We also have a 1899 Barber quarter worn six bucks. I had to tag everything in case I wasn't here and Lisa started selling them. <laughs> she, was in, she was like, what do I do with the price? I'm like, I'll buy it. Um, what's the $6 one, a dime or what? This is quarter? a quarter. 1899 quarter and a 1918 half for $13. Okay, so the quarter six dollars and the half is bin thirteen. If anybody's interested, yes, <clears throat> yes, that's World War One right there. I love those walkers. Aren't they gorgeous? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Aren't they gorgeous? And the walker. This lady right here. Shaboom. They put her on the American Silver Eagles. Wow. That the same thing. Yep. That is the same lady. They kind of spoofed her up a little bit, but well, yeah. The proof. <laughs> <laughs> that's a proof. <laughs> but come on, that's not the same uh, design, is it? Oh, yeah, it is. It is. If you see one of these uncirculated, it looks just like her. Does it? Yep. Wow. Yep. So. Huh. We'll pass on that. Okay, we'll do some more piece of your jewelry, baby. What's that? What? Uh, this is like a little costume. It is marked. Uh, Alpa Vienica. Huh? Is what it looks like it says. Alpaca, Mexico. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ah, welcome to my nightmare. <laughs> what did you say? Alpaca, Alpaca, Alpaca. Like Alpa Vienica. Alpa Vienica. <laughs> Alpaca Mexico. But this does not test. Right? Where this is does Serena? not test. Oh my god! <laughs> I just can't. I just can't. <laughs> I hope everybody's oh, God, always laughing. I'm sorry. It's a private <laughs> joke. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, man, you were serious, weren't you? I, I was. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta wait. I gotta watch that back. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, okay, okay. Focus, Jim. Focus. Okay, this is a really nice little cough bracelet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> This is going up there with antenna. Okay. <laughs> Inside of the cuff here, like this is how I'm measuring it. Okay. Is 2.22. Okay. So um, I don't know how cuffs work. This is really cute cuff though. Oh my God. Bracelet cuff. It is marked Alpaca, Mexico. It's not marked very well in Lisa's <laughs> Okay. Right, I need to take but, this. I need to go in the air for a second. Yeah. So hard. I've been You're out not here dying. for so long. I feel like I'm gonna pay. How much is this, babe? Uh, five bucks. Five bucks. Five bucks, and we'll kick it on over to Sue. This, this is a classic piece, guys. <laughs> this, yeah, you'll always think of this. 
<laughs> I'm gonna think of that every time I see one. Yeah. Alpha Vienica bracelet. I can't, yeah, believe Alpha, Serena, yeah. I can't believe Serena missed it. That is yeah, I know. I know. She, she would have died, man. But this is a five dollar buy it now, right? Uh, yeah, going going to say, <laughs> go the say John got it for five. Thank you, sir John. Good to that see you, man. That was a nice story. <laughs> <laughs> with it. That's Mr. Bass now, right? Yes. Oh, thank you, John. Wait and till he's wait great, till he sells uh, it to his hundreds of people and tells that story. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's we'd be say, willing. Well, he's gonna say, "Well, Lisa says it's a designer." <laughs> well, we will include how you say it. We'll write that down for you. <laughs> I can't even take it. <laughs> oh my god. And you go relax. Oh I you god. go you go call you do your writing thing for sure <laughs> and I'll call for her in here. Okay. Thanks, JB. Yeah, thank you, John. Appreciate you, man. Here you go. You know that, man. Oh, Always gratitude. Hysterical. Baggy. Oh my god. I can't okay, even. here's your baggie. It is the Alpa Vienica. <laughs> Alpha Vienica. <laughs> that, but I, I have to laugh because that's how I type in when I do the uh, crystals. I'm like, I don't know what these are. <laughs> Same thing. No kidding. <laughs> well, I hope everybody enjoyed that, man. I just, <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, it, 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 please. There's a, it became a, it became a thing because of what I did back then. All right, so I'm gonna pop on, guys. Yeah, you're in Yep, yep, yep. And I'll call okay. for you. I just gotta grab my little vape thing real quick. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do these. Um, uh, courting couple and then you have the flowers and a second courting couple um i believe these would just all be um of course a base metal this one is a pin and a pendant pretty piece this is more typical the ones i normally see this one a little bit more um embellished here also a pin brooch and then you have this one here all with the ceramic they're not the plastic and we'll start these at six dollars for choice six dollars for choice as you can see i've been digging i got stuff everywhere they are gorgeous i love six dollars for choice yep and and they sell well they sell well they remind me of my mom my mom had them and she set them up on stands and she oh, had yeah they're beautiful like, they can definitely be done like little photographs yeah. people buy them and put them in their doll houses as um as uh pictures I sold cameos for that same exact reason. They're gorgeous. If anybody's interested, no, six dollars for choice. Six dollars start for choice. Sorry about that. Yes, Lisa, I can see your comments. Okay, Kelly's in at six. Thank you, Kelly. Kelly's I, in at six. We'll look for seven. I got you. I got you. I got you. Kelly's in at six, looking for seven, 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 seven. <laughs> no worries, I got it too. No worries. Order's hate right. is six. Lisa. <coughs> so, oh, you're yeah. typing in for Lisa. Thank you, James. Yeah, Lisa. No, Lisa's typing in and I'm calling it out. <laughs> okay. It's All right. Uh, you can go ahead, count it down. Going once, going twice, going uh, gone, gone, gone. And we will let uh, Kelly pick out the one she likes. I'm going to line those up for her at $6. Okay, just waiting to see Lisa pop up there. Going once to Hoarder's Haven. I will always use your guys' handle. I'll never learn your names. I got my pen, see? Ooh, pretty. Got that from Lisa. Going twice to Hoarder's Haven on the beautiful $6 brooches. And we'll go in order one, two, and three. Final warning. Anybody else want in? And sold to Hoarder's Haven or Kelly. Thank you, dear. Thank you, Lee. Thank you, James. Ugh. My pleasure. That was that was just way too funny. It says AstraZeneca <laughs> on it. All three. You got them, sweetie. Thank you, Kelly. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. 
Thank you, thank you. Clearing these out, the less I have to lug over to the flea market, makes me very happy. My pen just, I showed it off and it just stopped working now. Really? Yep. We'll send you another one. Uh, oh, I, I, you don't think I have another one? I got oh, another no, no, one. You got like dozens of them. No, well, my <laughs> boss, man. I mean, All right. Um, these are uh, going to be a uh, $5 start. $5 start. This is a Sarah Cove, I think. Wait, not this one. This one is Emmons. This one's in Emmons. Emmons signed. Uh, I look like you got a little bit of yellowing. Um, actually, you know, when I look at it with my eyes, not through the camera, it looks like it's in good shape. That one there. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we have this one. This one is very familiar to me. A I, I, oh, Coro. This one's a Coro. Coro. This one is a Crown Trafari. That is gorgeous. Crown Trafari. <coughs> Excuse me. This one is... Uh... Unsigned. Oh, no, this one is a, I don't even know what this is. This one is E Pearl. E Denise Pearl. is in five. E Pearl. E Pearl. And one more. We'll put up one more for you. I'll put up a little knot. This one is a Lisner. Lisner. Judith is in at six. Judy, you're here. Yay. Denise is in at seven. Thank you, ladies. They are fantastic pieces. So many. I got so, so many. Thank you, though. I appreciate it. I'm glad somebody appreciates them. Judith is in at eight. I do have a little bit of lag, so. Don't worry. So, Edmonds. Denise. Um, Coro. Crown Trafari. E. Pearl. And Lisner. Thank you. Sorry, James. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I talked over you. I apologize. Denise is in at nine right now. Judith in at 10. Thank you, girls. Uh, great pieces sitting here. And Denise is in at 11. Right. Judith in at 12. You're hired, James. <laughs> and Denise is in at 13. Thanks, ladies. Uh, uh, in at 15. Judith jumps it to 15. Bid to win. And Denise is out. So Judith at 15. Unless somebody else pops in. No, you're so not fired. You still got to count it down, woman. <laughs> I just saw that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I tell you, it's always nice when the sellers have a moderator so that, you know, we could do what we have to do behind the scenes while you know it just makes it seamless you know what i mean going once to judith going twice to judith at 15. beautiful pieces one two three final. four five final warning final warning judith at 15. And boom, sold to Judith for 15 on the choice. Thank you, James. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Denise. And thank you, Judy. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, Judith would like Emmons one. Okay, she's got it at 15. Uh, you can offer to Denise if she wants any of those at 15. Denise, if there's anything that you would like there, call out your thank number. Thank you, Judy.
Beautiful piece you picked up there. Uh, Denise would like number two and number three, please. Yeah. Denise, I just want to show this to you closely first. Um, I, I don't know the piece, I have to be honest with you, but I just want you to see it really close. It doesn't look like it's even as far as the gold toning. Um, again, I'm not familiar with the piece and it was in a box. So I just want you to have a full um, description just to be sure. And if you're okay with that, just, you know, let me know you're okay. Um, that is the only one that I was a little concerned about. <clears throat> but if you're okay with it, I'm good with selling it. <clears throat> he said it looks good. Okay, thank you. Anybody okay. else for number four and five? Okay. Thank you, girls. And I, I make sure everything comes nice and neatly in boxes, nicely wrapped. Great okay. bidding. Great bidding. Pass. That was fun. Okay. Uh, this is a, a beautiful piece. I don't know anything about it. Guys, I love my jewelry. I don't know a lot about it. I tell you the truth. I just like hanging out with you guys. And uh, hopefully I learned something along the way. Look at this. Is this not amazing? That's These are all like little, each each row is independent. It's so it's like little articulating. I don't know anything about it. Mark, uh, no marks or signatures on it, but it is fabulous. We're going to start these at $5. That's number one. This one is a Monet. That's number two. <clears throat> this one is a Crown Trafari, I believe. Let me just take another quick peek at it. Uh, yeah, wait. Kim is in at five on my end. I saw Kim VZ first, and then Judith came in also at five, and now Judith is at six. Okay, Trafari Crown. Crown Trafari. This one is, let's see, also a Crown Trafari. So that's four. Let's get you one more. Uh, let's get something different up there. Let's get something similar, but not the same. This one is no crown. I just see a Trafari. It might have a crown. The stamping is a little off, but we'll call it Trafari. This is a silver tone. Gorgeous. And Judith is in at six, still. Okay. Judith is in at six. This thing is fabulous right here. That is so unique. I've never seen something like mm -hmm. that. And Kim says that she's out. So I could play with this all day long. Yeah, really. Peace. All right, so you got one, two, three, four, five. You can go ahead and count that down. Going to once Judith. to Judith at six. She likes to be called Judy, just so you oh, know. Sorry. Going twice to Judy. I'm just always being proper. Yep, we love you for that. Final warning to Miss Judith or Judy. I'll get it right eventually. That's okay. And sold to Judy. Thank you, ladies. One, two, three, four, five. Number one, one and two. number two for Miss Judy. You got it, dear. Beautiful pieces. Kim? Any interest in the other two? I don't usually usually do this backup bidding stuff, so take advantage of it now because I Can don't like three, to please? do it. She was three? Yes, uh, ma'am. This was what sold at six dollars? Yes, ma'am. Six. At six each. And Kim wants number three. Three, that would be this one, right, dear? Okay. 
Let's just do one more round. And then if you guys want to go again, we'll get you going back up again. Pass on these. Kim confirmed it was number three. Perfect. Thank you, Kim. All right. I have this black rhinestone. Silver tone. Um, glass. Yep, glass. I have this amazing huge chunk of mother pearl that oh is, my gosh this is insane no marks or signatures but heavy that, that is, is just a monster in there it's just this huge disc and in beautiful condition that is number two i have this gold tone i don't think i saw any marks on this one faux pearl little bit of darkening around the faux pearl Nice little stack piece. I like that. It's a cool design. It's number three. Um, number four is going to be this piece. This is a Carol Lee. That's number four. And number five is going to be this little cherub. I'll have to look and see if he's marked cute little piece that is awesome i think i see little stones in there too let me see yeah he's got stones in his bow and there's stones going around the heart clear stones and then um i don't see a mark did i give you a starting bid no ma'am Oh, I'm so sorry. I'll do five. Five again. Five dollars starting bid. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, I got lost. Starting bid at five. Yeah, because I was surprised that nobody bid. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> Judy in at five. Judy in at five. Thank you, Judy. Thank you for your bid, Judy. I'm sorry that took so long. I, I got lost in the jewelry. It happens. <clears throat> Excuse me. And Kim is in at six. Kim's in at six. This thing is insane. I mean, look at that thing. Look at the size of it. Huge. I love this piece. Love it. Beautiful. Prong set. Black. Judy in it. Go ahead, baby. James? Yes, ma'am. Oh, okay. I thought I lost you. No, 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 no. <laughs> is in at eight. Miss VZ is in at eight. And Judith is out. I'm sorry, Judy is out. <laughs> I'm sorry, Judy. <laughs> All right, Kim, we're going to go in the same order. One, two, three, four, and five. Lisa did it going once. Thank you. Going twice for eight. I may be lagging here. Sold to <laughs> finish. Thank uh, Judy, you're so sweet. Two. Do you want any of the other ones, Miss Judy? Please let us know. Thank you so much, Kim. That is yours. I'm lagging hard. <laughs> one, three, four, or five, Judy, if you're interested, you'll take number one. Yep, Judy, nice one for one. Nothing wrong with a little black of uh, nice rhinestones. Really pretty piece. All right, James and Lisa. Yes. Okay, well, James. <laughs> yeah. Lisa's in the background. <laughs> she No, she's chilling in the AC, man. The whole AstraZeneca bracelet. Oh, she got overheated. That put her over the to top. Get I yeah. get it. I get it. Mm -hmm. All right. So you're going to do some crystals or some um, coins or whatever? No, uh, I'll throw up a couple. Uh, co yeah, yeah. Well, whatever you called it, man. Here she comes. Welcome she comes. back, Roberta. I was just going to throw up while I was waiting for her um, a couple of cheaper um, Indian head scents real quick. Um these are all going to be a $3 buy it now. 
Okay. I just want to get my little loopy here so I can try to show you. Which isn't working today. Okay. This is a 1903. You can see the Liberty. I mean, these were small coins to begin with. I mean, these are cents. So, um, this one the Liberty <laughs> is a little bit worn. Okay. But that's in 1903. These are $3 for choice. Yes, $3 for choice. $3. Buy it now. Buy it now. The Liberty okay. on this one's a little worn, but he's got good feathers. That is a 1906. All right, I'm trying. My computer just... Okay, there we go. Um, Roberta, that's what I say when I wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning and you're still on. <laughs> I, we've only been on for a few hours. That's a 1907. And we got an 1893 with one diamond on the band. 1893. This would be for choice. One, two, three, or four. Those are higher end ones. Slide them out of the way. If anybody's interested in that, let us know. Three dollar buy it now. And Lisa's getting some cool stuff up for you, ladies. I haven't even shown this one yet. Okay, here, let me help you. Well, no, oh, it goes. I'm sorry. That's why I was. Oh, it's okay. The flower's meant to go to the side. Oh, that's that's really cool. But now it's like laying all wrong. I'll just move it to the thing. <laughs> I I used to do twelve hour auctions on Facebook like it was nothing, right, girls? Oh, God. Yeah. 12-hour auctions. Like, uh, John would leave, come back, leave, come back, and be like, you still going? You would power like, yeah, through. Man. Okay, no interest in these, which is totally cool. You know what I mean? Not for everybody. I personally love my we uh, Indian heads. Back when coinage was good coinage, man. Okay, my phone just died, my other phone, so I will have to count on my computer. So passing on yep. the uh, coins, but thanks for viewing. Oh, yeah. Thank you all. I think, in my opinion, we should have more Native Americans on our coinage and money. There used to be a whole lot. And then the 20th century came. and they. So, anywho. All right. Let's take a look-see over here. Okay. It's not laying correctly. It's not laying correctly, Lisa said. <laughs> she is. I had it right. She tried. <laughs> She had it right, and then it just all went away. It just... <laughs> John. Okay. Beautiful necklace. These though. are little agates. Agate chips in here. Okay. Agates. Ooh. Flashy agate chip. Oh, look at the flash on that. Obsidian. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty. Obsidian on it, possibly. Beautiful piece. How much is this, baby doll? Uh, eight. This is a eight dollar buy it now or a bid. Uh, buy it now. Eight dollar buy it now. That's kind of a fun piece. Here's the back of it. Yeah, it lays like this. The flower, the blossom actually lays to the side. Okay. Show it up close because they're like almost like a aurora or the yeah. borealis. Yeah, the beads on there. Almost like a borealis effect. Right here is another one. You guys see that? They're like those peacock beads. Yeah. That's pretty. That's how yeah. I, I put my brooches on my long beaded necklaces. I, I just place them right on the side like that. There's your clasp. It's really pretty. Flower on this looks beautiful. Very nice. $8. Buy it now. Darn it. Did you say darn it? Yeah. Hey, darn you it. have problems? Darn it. Yeah, I'm just having problems with this one little piece right there. There we go. There we go. I mean, I like it. I dig that. That would look great. But to me, that's a, like a summertime necklace. Man. You throw a white dress on with that, wearing that bad boy. Boom. Oops. Center of attention. That's pretty. Oh, my God. Serena. Were you Serena's here? Oh, my God. Oh, Were you Serena here missed for it. for that mishmash of a mess? Miss 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 um Miss Lisa did a Kurtamala, man. She did a Kurtamala. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! I don't know if you saw it. You got to watch it back. It was yeah, you got to watch it back, Serena. You're gonna die. Oh my God! 
You're going to die. I mean, you know, you may not be able to breathe for five minutes. Oh, it was hysterical. I just okay. can't even. All right. All right, moving on. What we're going to do here is a piece of stelestite. Beautiful piece of stelestite. Look at the blues in that. Denim to diamonds, blue. You know it. You know it. It rolls back that way. Naturally placed right there. Okay. Huge piece of it. This is a $20. Buy it now. The camera does not do this hey, justice. Thank you, Roberta. I love you, woman. Oh, hey, Roberta. Didn't know you popped in here. I'm sorry. What was this? What was the bid? Twenty two zero. Twenty dollars for this amazing piece, guys. And it does not do it justice. The, the blue. Christy. The blue is sublime in this, man. It is gorgeous. Christy Fox is here. Ooh, Christy Fox, dude. What's up? What up? What up? Lots of Schiller in this. It is three inches that way. Celestite's a stone that's said to bring harmony and balance. Um, it helps to maintain inner peace. It's also a stone for peace and harmony and has the potential to bring those qualities into your daily life. <clears throat> Sorry. Look at that blue. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Isn't that? I mean, it, it's it's spectacular. <clears throat> hey, Christy. Hi, Christy. Serena did not make it today, but she is in chat. Love this piece for 20. Let us know. I'll just place that lovingly right there as he's hanging out. This one. Okay. This, this one's is one of these cool. An agate, right? Or is that it's just. Probably Jasper. Yeah. Some kind of Jasper on this one. Well, you sound like me. <laughs> Some kind of Jasper, you know. So there it is, a little Jasper. bit better lit there for you. That was like in the, uh, Lori's auction. She put something up. I go, yeah, Rhoda Crow's night. And, and Serena's like, you wrote a night. And then I'll say yeah. something else. And, and then Serena will be I like, no, no, it's, it's this. <laughs> that's the blue I'm like, why are you even listening <laughs> to me? <laughs> <laughs> How much is this going for, baby doll? Uh, I'll do that for a $5 buy it now. $5 buy it now. Stone corded to here. Very nice wrap on it. Very cool wrap. That is and really it's nice. Adjustable, right, Lisa? Yep, yep. This it's is a just adjust. Yep, yep. There's a little pulley thing. Goes both ways. Is that the technical term? Pulley thing. Pulley thing. Yep. Yeah, that's the pulley thing, y'all. So that that's jaw in really there. That's pretty. Called. So this is gorgeous. So it is like a grayish greenish color i don't know if that's really like it's very muted i don't know if that's really oh. translating out well did i not type that in bin five dollars right yep bin five bin five dollars oh boy his pp covers are coming off wow i don't think i've ever heard that before the pp covers coming off okay yeah, this feels like, oh, I don't know, John. Yeah. I, 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 I just, he's talking about me. He's talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I always say. I'm yeah. like, you know, it feels like, oh, I don't know. Yep, that's me. It's true. I admit it. So no yes. interest in this. We're going to pass on that. Uh, I still have some of the Sage kits. Ooh. That's why I, I surround myself with everybody in the know. Right? Yep. Hey, totally man, different. I don't know everything. Lisa don't know everything. Nobody here knows everything about anything. Oh, I now, learned something. I doctorate. I always yeah, learn. But, Except for maybe Serena and Cinnamon. Yeah, well, well, Cinnamon's very knowledgeable. <laughs> John's very knowledgeable, man. But, I mean, there are times where, you know what I mean? You don't know. You know, your research, it, you just take your best guess with it. Okay, so what I don't have to guess on is this, okay? You get the feather. For wafting okay you get what is this white sage correct yes right. it's white sage an abalone shell beautiful and just for the shell, it's gorgeous and this is how much hon uh, ten dollars ten dollar buy it now and you also get the wooden 
and four. I have three of them. Which collapses for taking it places. Great, great um, uh, housewarming, yep. housewarming gifts for those that are just buying a home or moving into an apartment. Or anybody Good. who never burnt sage before. I mean, this gets rid of the bad juju. Open up a window, burn this, let it start smoking. You know, blow out the fire. It's now smoking. You take the feather into the corners with it. This catches the ash and the bad juju gets on out of there. Everybody, bye bye juju. Bye bye juju. Yep. Everybody should sage their dwelling. It gets rid of any negative energy. Previous owners, even well, 50 years ago. I got to keep my window closed because I think it's all coming into my house. Oh, no. <laughs> They're like, ju ju hey, there. I'm, a ju I'm a juju magnet. You got a smudge. All right. I want to make a quick announcement while you guys are thinking about this amazing uh, kit. Um, Tomorrow, Vanessa, your own per, uh, Vanessa here from this amazing community, will be making a guest appearance with Roberta and I tomorrow night at 630 uh, Eastern Standard Time. So please join us. And then again on Thursday, John Bastow, he is a uh, seller on Facebook, uh, very well known in his uh, fitness uh, communities as well. He is a dear friend. He will be making a debut here on Thursday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you guys are available, please stop in. If not, please make sure you stop in and check out the videos. And we appreciate you. Thank you so much. And Mike is in at 10. It's going to be lit. Talk to Mike Thank you, Mike. Then. Quick story while we're still perusing over this. My buddy, he opened up his own store, his own shop. Okay. And he had some weird stuff happening there. Very old building, man. And he burnt some sage and stuff. All the weird stuff quit. And he's been quite successful. Yes. <laughs> and he keeps that sage right up on the shelf, man. As soon as you walk into his door, man. Keeps that bad juju out. So, Mike, how often? So how often do they recommend you use something like that? I mean, does it? I mean, juju keeps coming in, right? Yeah, I bring it. I carry it everywhere it I go. You can do it seasonally. You know what I mean? Okay. Spring, summer, winter, fall, or as you feel it's needed, man. I mean, if you feel like you know it's starting to close in on you, everyone has a vibe. You know what I mean? You ever meet somebody? You're like, oh, I can pick up on that vibe. And you feel it when you when you come into the house sometimes. It's like something's off. You bought something new. You brought it in. Maybe the person who was making it was having a really bad day. And that little bit of negativity got imprinted on that item. That's true, And you Mike. brought it in. And, you know. I hear you. I you get know? it. So, uh, so, also, basically, so basically every day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mike, yeah. how many do you want? You want They're just one? Now, she, has, so. <laughs> she has three available. We have three two of them now, available. Two, like, two, oh, now, two, two now. Mike bought one. Two more. Two okay. more available if anybody else is interested. Mike, you want one. We're putting you down for one. We do have Palo Santo Mountain Sage. Infused Mountain Sage, which these are how much? Uh, these are $3 each. These are $3 each. This comes with just this. Now, Palo Santo, you burn sage to get rid of the negativity. You open up a window, you burn it, negativity goes out the window. Need needs somewhere else to go. It goes outside. Bye-bye. Then the Palo Santo brings in the good stuff, brings in those positive vibes, brings in the positivity. So that's kind of the twofer. This is a twofer here. Now, this doesn't come with anything other than the sage and the um, Palo Santo. It is like a dust in here, Palo like Santo. For three? Oh, you got it, Mike. Appreciate you, sir. That's right, Palo Mike. Santo. If you're shushing hey. out the bad, you got to shush in the good. Yep. Palo Santo is considered a holy wood. Nothing goes to waste with Palo Santo. When we say it's infused, it is like a dusting inside of it and on the outside. When you get this in, you may notice some like um, golden color down in the bottom of the bag. That's the Palo Santo that's shaking out of it. And also, Mike, if you need more than one, let me know. I have several of these yeah. available. Yeah, if anybody wants them, I mean, we can definitely accommodate. Thank you guys so much. So appreciate you all. Can you show the amethyst? Love this community. Just take the ring off of it. Love this community. <laughs> now, wow. This thing's Whoa. crazy. 
one of the craziest amethyst clusters that we've ever seen. Now, okay, in our opinion, okay, and we've been doing this for a bit, okay, this has been heat treated. Most the tips, the tips you're talking the tips, about. Yeah, this was placed in there and it was heated from the top down. Okay, these are amethyst and they just did it to bring out that purple color even more. Okay, beautiful piece. Okay, this is what, three inches or so, I think? Let's get a measurement here. Now, I can't zoom in on this yet. About three inches. Three inches around. Beautiful. That's the bottom of it. It is a little bit spiky. And this is how much baby towel tonight? Uh, do it for 45. 45 tonight. 45. We're just putting this one on sale. And I can't zoom. So you guys really can't see it. If you notice in here, you've seen those little spots. Those are other crystals growing out of the crystal. Lisa, I'm sorry. I'm frozen. 45. Oh, I'm um, sorry. Uh, Zoli, I see you at two of the Palo Santos. Um, I'm not sure if you're already registered. I'm pretty. Yeah, sure. Zuli, Zuli's good. Okay. okay. Thank you very much. Yep, we'll bag you up for them, Zoli. We appreciate you. Thank you. And this is 45 for this amazing amethyst crystal city, crystal cluster, whatever you would like to call it. We always call it a crystal city. It was named by Base Now. We started calling these crystal cities. I love that name because it does look like a city of them. And this is 45. Let us know. That thing is amazing. Oh, yeah. Hi, Zuli. I'm sorry I don't see chat right now. I'm frozen, but thanks for coming. Oh, yes. Yes. Hey, hey. Sorry, I'm over here. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So Lisa was taking care of some, um, uh, what do you call it? Some sage. So I was just getting a couple of things organized here. It is beautiful, Christy. We love this. this we've got a bunch of this stuff in. Um, this is the last piece of this that we have, and I think Lisa showed some aura quartz, um, and that's it. It's the aura quartz, we only have one piece left, really moderately priced, too. Man, it's a beautiful piece of aura quartz. If anybody wants to see aura quartz, more than happy to bring it up. Yeah, baby, you know, the Crystal City. So, I think we're gonna pass on this. That's oh, so beautiful, it is, man. It is. I'm surprised that it's still around. It's one of those things you're like, oh, that's going to, and it doesn't, and whatever. Um, I have some cute little glass pendants here. I okay. Mean, show what you're going to show because I have to get them all out. Okay. 1962 Ben Franklin half dollar. 90% silver, 13 bucks. Buy it now. I can't type. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to get back in to chat. Look at that one, though. I mean, very cool. 62, How much silver in that? 90%. 90%. 1962. I have a 63 that I will not get rid of because it was the last year. Nobody knew it was the last year of it because in 64, JFK came out. They fast-tracked his coin. So $13 on this if anybody's interested. From the 60s. Good old Ben Franklin there. Sue takes it. Oh, oh. Sue's got I, it. Actually, I see Mike 13 first. Oh, I'll give it to Oops. Mike. Mike yep. got Mike, it before that's me. Yours. Yep. Wah, wah, wah. Sorry, Sue. No, it's fine. I get many more. Oh, thanks. yeah. Thanks for saving me, Mike. That's a beautiful one there. That's a good one, Mike. You're going to like him. Great buddy. You're going to like him, man. He, he's in good shape. Sue doesn't need it. Trust me. <laughs> I just can't stand them not going. I, I, I know, I, if, I know, but I mean, it, it's it's I like can't have too much silver either, man. No, that's exactly I mean, my thought. It, it's always moving. I got into a conversation with somebody today about it, and it's like, can you imagine if you were buying silver when it was four dollars an ounce, six dollars an ounce a couple of oh. years ago? You know what I mean? Oops. Oh, there, there's people out there hoarding. I, I when I go to my contact. You gotta see what they're buying. Yeah. Just 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 for those reasons. 
Okay, now these are glass pendants. Holy God, look how cute that is. These definitely look hand blown, possibly hand blown. Oh my goodness. There I mean, is. look at that. There's the loop there. Lisa, did you order these? Uh no, no. Uh, I didn't I can't believe I missed that. These are gorgeous. There's two of these that Lisa handed me. Let me get out our trusty turtle magnifying glass. It looks like a little um dragonfly. Yeah. Oh my God, look how they did that. That is amazing. Gorgeous, isn't he? That's fabulous. So it's, you know, domed on one side, flat on the other. Well, thanks for being here, Zuli. We appreciate it. How much are these going for, baby? Uh, five dollars choice. Five dollars choice. We have that one, which is number one. You know what? Let's do this one as an auction. Okay. It's a one-off thing. I like to do the auctions on them. Okay, one-off auction. Five dollars starting bid. Starting bid five dollars, guys. Let me see if I can type. Five dollars for choice. Beautiful butterfly. Five dollars choice. Definitely looks to me as that it's probably handmade. Kim is in at five. I'm that back. Bid, oh, you think it's a moth? Sure. Huh. John said it looks like a sea monkey. <laughs> the moth. Everybody's the moth. got their own interpretation. Kim's in at five. Thank you, Kim. Yep. Kim's in, in at five, five for choice. Thank you. These guys are awesome. They are the prettiest little, cutest little pendants. Uh, you know what? I'm going to sweeten the deal a little bit here. She's going to sweeten the deal, man. It's about an inch there. Gorgeous glass pendants, though. Yeah. Oh, this one the comes on the thing. That's glass. Okay. Whoa. Are you serious? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to show this like this. This one comes with this. I'm going to bring this up. Okay. Whoa. Oh, my God. Holy goodness, man. And that's going to be also mix in the mix for five bucks? Yep. That's in the mix for five. Look All at right, this. guys. So I now you have three choice. Three for choice. At five, we got five with um, Kim. Look at that beautiful. Oh, wow. Just look at the craftsmanship in that. And that's a big bail on that one. Look at that. Beautiful. This is for choice. All right. There's no other interest. So if you want to go ahead and count it down. I'm sorry. I'm so busy watching him turn that piece of jewelry around. <laughs> um, oh, man. Oh. Going once to um, Kim at five for choice of any one of these three amazing oh. pendants. Hang on a sec. So uh, Christy, Kim's already in at five. So I need a six or better. Yeah, Christy, we need six, baby. Okay, Christy's in at six looking for seven or better. And then we have Christy at six, looking for seven. That would be for you, Miss Kim. If you want to go to seven or not, let us know. So cute. I know. I just picked this one up again. I was thinking the same exact thing. I'm like, he's so cute. It's amazing how they do these things. Kim's in at seven. Christy is in at eight for choice. And this Christy one. Christy in at eight for choice. Could you imagine how they do that? It just blows my mind. Wow. Kim is out. Thank you, Kim. All right, we're going to count it down. Going one time in case anybody else wants to come in. I have eight looking for nine. Thank you for your bids, ladies. Going a second time to Christy at eight. Still looking for a nine. Oh, my computer stinks. Fair warning. And we're counting that down. Sold in three, two, and one. All right. Let us know which ones you want, Miss Christy, at $8. Which ones or ones? Yes, We'd like an eight bit, each. Lady. Yes. Thank you all. Thank you, Kim. Thank you, Christy. Flower to Christy. Thank flower, you, Christy. please. You got it. And Kim, uh, did you like either of the others for the eight dollars? Yep. These are available still. Look at him. He's butterfly, like butterfly, please. Butterfly. 
All right. Thank All right. You. you got it. And we still have the dragonfly, flying salamander, whichever you'd like to call it. Cute. Beautiful orange color on him. He's just going to have to make another appearance. The butterfly was calling to me also. He's just so bright Cap and happy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he is bright and happy. Okay. So, if anybody sees this and you decide you do want it later on, just contact Lisa there at firesidecrystals at gmail.com. I totally lost track of how many we... I don't know. Sue, are you ready to go? I don't know what um, we were... Actually, I'm going to step away for a quick second. Would you mind doing oh. one more? Sure. Thank you. I'll be right back. You sure this one? I can do a coin. I can do a rock. I don't know. That's cool. All right, we'll do this. Beautiful flower agate sphere. Let me give you guys a measurement. Now, if you do buy a sphere, it does come with a stand. We throw in a nice little wooden stand. It's not like, hey, here's a washer from underneath of my sink so it don't, doesn't roll away. We do throw in a stand with you. This well, is a two-inch. It's a two-inch sphere. Okay, this is called flower agate. Beautiful. Look at that. It's like clouds. Look at that. And this is how much, honey? Uh, 15 buy it now. 15 buy it now. And if you just got to have a stand and you need something better than what we're going to give you, we have that style, which this does look nice on. And those are fossil stands. These are $15 for the stand. No, they're fossil stands. They're $10 each. Oh, they're $10 for the stand. Yeah. Okay, 15 for the sphere, 10 for the stand. Oh, Kim likes but, the sphere at 15. But okay, thank you, Kim. And we also have the darker one for 10. So, Kim, that is yours. There you go. Thank you, Ms. VZ. Do appreciate you. Yeah, this is a spectacular piece. All right, you got it. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Um, did you want the free stand, Kim, or you don't want to stand at all? Yeah, where's the um. Three stands out. Let me show one. Here. Oh, here, there's the blue missing. appetite sitting on the clear one. I mean, we can do one of these yeah. for you for nothing. For free, man. We can throw that in the box for you. Or this one. Or we can do this one. We don't mind. Okay. Did you want the clear or the wooden? Clear or wooden, ma'am. This is a plastic lucite. This is plastic. Still gorgeous though. Look yeah, at that. Out of the cute little glass ones. Yeah, we gotta get more of the glass ones in. Or this wooden one. Let us know, please. Clear. All right, you got yep. it. Thank Everybody you. goes for the clear, man. Those clears are amazing. And um, I, I think Sue is still stepped away. Yeah, she hasn't said she's back. So if you want to show a coin real quick. I will do this silver eagle. Okay. This is how I got it. It was a proof. It was tossed in here. The silver eagles are pure silver. 999 silver. Okay. You would get it just like this. Comes in this little case. Okay. I mean, this is not the world's most perfect proof. I do not remember what I paid for it or anything like that. But still got a beautiful mirror finish on it. Okay, there's the back there. This is going to go for $55 today. One ounce fine silver. And it's a proof. There is some marring on it, if you will. Um, let me get out our trusty turtle. Hey, guys. Sorry about that. The dog needed me. Oh, yeah, baby. You know, you got to do what you got to right. do with the puppers. And Zuli likes it for $55. All right. Thank you, Zuli. I'll just give you a close-up of this with that so you can really see it. You know, like I said, it's not the world's most perfect proof, but it is nice. Some 05, a little bit of toning starting to happen on it. Thank you, Zuli. Thank you, Zuli. That's amazing. You're really going to love this, man. I've had this one for a long time. And you will get it just like that with the little tear there and everything. And there we go. I'll take the sticker off, though. Lisa was going to do this, and I didn't know what time I'd be home. So I put tags on everything. <laughs> Four. <laughs> Thank you, Zuli. And Sue, if you're ready to go. Yeah, I'm going to do. Thanks, guys. Right, Appreciate you. Who? Lisa, uh, guys, I'm, I mean, if you want to take a quick break, Lisa, I totally get it. Do you want to go jump? 
it's are you sure you can do the typing thing no i'm not totally sure about that man. No, no, no. me i can manage i'll be fine <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever you want to no, do, huh? Yeah, I'll hop in the shower. You hang out too. I yeah, won't baby. be long. Yeah, baby. Yeah, you stay with me, Mister. That you and me, girl. I got your back. Yeah, sorry, guys. I got home from work and went live immediately. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why my computer is just not working. I don't know. Okay, am I up? Yep, I'm up. All right. I don't know if you're going to pop you. back up. It's really giving me a hard time. My apologies, guys. All right, this round is going to be a $5 start. This one is an Anne Klein gold tone brooch in very nice condition. $5 start. This one is a, um, I forgot what this one said. This one is, how about we look at the other side? Nature's Creations. Nature's Creations. That'll be number two. We have this little faux. Oh, that's missing a pearl. Nope. We have this guy here. Large gold tone faux pearl. This one is signed. I didn't know this name. Let's see. It says craft with a C. Craft with a C. That's that one there. Ooh, they're Thanks, nice. James. I have seen those crafts ones before. They are nice. This is a really pretty piece. It says PC. It's got little stones on either side. This feels like ceramic. This one says on the back, Avon 1996 through 1997. That's an Avon. Kim is in at five. And then I got this really funky piece. Um, it's kind of like on what I guess would have been a um, kilt pin. And you got this feels like um acrylic and you got these two little planes dangling down i thought it was pretty a fun pretty fun piece i actually bought it for somebody in particular but i haven't seen her so out the door it goes so we're going to put that one up on top so if anyone likes any of those thank you kim kim is in at five thank you thank you yep yep i called it kim is in at five Looking for six. You're doing what? One dollar increments tonight, sir? Yeah, yeah, all all one dollars. Okay. Thank Kim you. Kim is sir. in at five. Looking for six. Kim is in at five. Looking for six. Okay. We're gonna going once it. Thank you, sir. Kim at five. Going once. We're going to go in twice it in a second once I get done typing it. <laughs> I know. You're having the problem like me. Going twice at five from Ms. VZ. Fair warning. And sold. Sold for five. <laughs> And would you like one, two, three, four, or five? Or a combination of? They're all gorgeous. Yeah, you can't go wrong with the costume brooches are awesome. Two, four, and five, please, from Ms. VZ. Okay. <sighs> Thank you, Ms. Kim. Two. Four and five. The planes are fun, right? I thought they were pretty fun. Okay. Uh, the next ones are going to go up for auction um, as well. These are a few sterling silver brooches. They'll come up one at a time. Uh, it's just easier that way. Um, Judith jumped in and asked if she could get one, please. Of course she can. Yep, absolutely. Thank you, Judith. All right. We're going to start with the sterling silver Siam brooch. It has the old hook back, Siam Sterling, and we're going to do this one at a $15 start. I'm going to put that right here on the amethyst at a $15 start. Siam Sterling, 15 Thank you, Judith. Judy. <laughs> See, <laughs> you're doing it now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
tonight. Starting bid, $15. This is an auction. Judy all done. Um, I mean, if you guys really want costume, I have Simply Roberta is in a 15. Or at least I think she's in a 15. Yes. <laughs> I see the little blue wrench and I panic. I'm like, I'm doing Roberta. Something. Oh, I forgot. I didn't know you were here. I forgot you were here. I have yep. some stick pins. I got some cool stick pins. A whole bunch of them, actually. All right, you can count it down for her. She's getting it for yep. Cindy, I'm sure. Okay, we're going to count this down. Going once for Roberta at 15. And we're going to do going twice. At 15. Fair warning. And it's sold to Ms. Roberta. Thank you, Berta. You rock. There you go. Thank you, Ms. Roberta. Hello again. Hello. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Ms. Roberta. All right. I have some stick pins. Um, I'm not really prepared with these, but it's okay. I'll do a couple of little lots with them. And we'll start those in starting bids as well. Let me just get row marked up. Okay. All right. So I don't know. I mean, I didn't test these. I didn't really even look at them that closely. So um, I'm going to pull these out. This one's sterling. That I know. Okay. And this is going to be a lot. Yeah, I'll do a, I'll, still, I'll do a few little lots. Okay, okay this one. We'll review our starting bids, Sue. Um, I'm going to start them at, I'll do five, five items at uh, $5. $5 start. This is a little rhinestone uh, flower. Then I have another little uh, stone flower. This one is a tiger's eye. I have this little knot that looks like it's quite old and a little bit worn, but maybe could just use some cleaning too. I'll do. <clears throat> if Teresa, it's a lot. I'll do this little blue stone. Don't know if it's glass or acrylic. Excuse me. It's quite cool though. I like that blue. And I'll do this little one here. Those five at $5 start, if anybody's interested. <clears throat> Thank you, Teresa. They are cool. Yeah, there's some nice ones in there. I'll do one more lot. If they're not interested, I'm not going to bother them with this nonsense. Okie dokie. You want me to pass it? Yep, let it go. Pass. Oh, Hoarder Saving came in at six. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Not passed. <laughs> Not passed. Six. All right, you can get it down for Kelly. Going once. Going twice. I got tired of typing. <laughs> uh, fair warning, just the way you guys always do it. And sold. Thanks, Kelly. You go. I know a few people who have moved to Phoenix, rise up to get away from the allergies. They're happier people. Allergies? Yep. 
Kim popped in at six also there after I put in the sold. Um, okay, I'm sorry if, if she if it, if you already sold it. Sorry, Kim. Kelly got them at six dollars. I have another little round I can do for you. Hold on. I got this really, really old ass one I'll do by itself. It's freaking beautiful. Okay. Um, I'm going to do this a little lot. These are older as well. This one's fairly new. This one's got the little tip. Same start. Yeah, same start. We'll put that one there. The little butterfly. I have this silver tone. I think silver tone grapes. I have this beauty. Oh, my God. It's just gorgeous. Kim's in a five. Look at this. Isn't that pretty? That one's got its little bottom as well, so we'll just lay that one down. Then I have this one. I don't know if it's enamel or um, not, but this is definitely an older piece. Looks that like one in. So you got four there. And then I'll do this one. Uh, oh, my gosh. In Somebody definitely soldered that back together. I don't know why. They must have thought it was worth it. So there you go. It's pretty lavender color. Hoarders Haven's in at six, looking for seven. This one's gorgeous right here. They're all nice. Oh, that one ran away. It's saying, I don't want to go. Let me stay. They're Butterflies running away. Fly. Ms. VZ's in at seven, looking for eight. Kim's in at seven, looking for eight. Quarters Haven's in at eight, looking for nine. Eight. I'm having a heck of a time over here. Ms. VZ is in at nine, looking for ten. Kim is in at nine, looking for ten. Quarters Haven in at ten. We're now looking for eleven. Thank you for all your bids, ladies. Kim VZ is out. Thank you, Kim. Going once. Beautiful stick pins. Going uh, twice. Fair warning, everybody. And I am going to call this one Soul. There we go, Ms. I'm sorry, Quarters Haven. Kelly. Yep. Yep. Thank you, sweetie. Kim, thanks for your bids. All right, this one I want to do by itself because I think it's fabulous. Hey, Thank Lisa's you, guys. Um, look at this thing. It is just beautiful. These are uh, somewhat articulating, intentional. I don't know. Or they look like they are meant to be wired. Gorgeous, gorgeous piece. I'm going to start this one at $3. $3 start on this little stick pen. I love this piece. Super pretty. Oh, I forgot about all these. Wow, look at them all. <laughs> Kim Vizi's in at three. This is gorgeous, Kim. Miss Vizi's in at three. Look. My friend Gordon has a collection of these in 14 karat gold. I mean, I, I can't even tell you how beautiful they are. Is that supposed to be grapes, Sue? Yeah, grapes. Oh my God, that is so cool. Isn't that great? And that is awesome. Yeah. Uh, Christy, is, Christy Fox Do is in at four, looking for five. Kim Vizi's in at five, looking for six. <laughs> Thank you, Serena. What'd she say? I'm getting good at doing the countdown. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, he's hired. Uh, orders popped in at five, but Christy's in at six. Yeah, Hoarders in at seven. At Hoarders in at yeah. seven, looking for eight. Hoarders Haven's in at seven, looking for eight. Did you shower already? Yep. Oh my God. Now go pour yourself a glass of wine. That's what I keep telling her. I don't think I have any. You have some in there. Yeah, but I think it's been open. So what? It goes, it gets all icky. You taste it. It tastes it good. It doesn't get icky right away. It's been a few weeks. Christy yeah. is out. Thank you, Christy Fox. So Hoarders Haven is in at seven. I know Kim Vizi was bidding also. The worst, the worst voice changed. 
it's I start reading and it goes down a notch. I know. <laughs> All right, uh, you can start going down, and yep. uh, if Kim wants, oh, Kim's in at eight. Okay, we're looking for nine. <laughs> Ms. VZ came in at eight. We're looking for nine now. Hoarders Haven's out. Kim VZ at eight. We're going to going once. The pretty one. Going twice. Fair warning, everybody. And, oh, did I just miss a comment? Nope. And sold for oh yeah, Miss Beasy. <laughs> I love this thing. <laughs> All right, thank you, thank you. Who was the sold. final winner? Sold to Miss Beasy at eight. Thank you, thank you, ladies. Appreciate it. Let me get that in a bag, and then I will show you the next lot at uh, five dollars. Okay. The next lot at five dollars. You have the little butterfly. So scared I'm going to pick up something gold. You have the little flower with the faux pearl. These have little bottoms. You have the little enamel flower. You have this little oval gold tone. It's tarting bit of five, and Kim Beasy is in at five. And five. I'll throw in the Playboy Bunny. Ooh, nice. With uh, a red eye. Has a red eye. Nice. It's heavy. It's heavy. Nice. Miss VZ in at five, looking for six. I like that Playboy Bunny one. You don't yeah, see cute. That is vintage. Quarters Haven's in at six, looking for seven. Kim Vizi's in at seven, looking for eight. Seven, looking for eight. I really dig them, man. They're cool. All right, we got Kim in at seven, looking for eight. You know that the lag is starting to become uh, pretty heavy. So, up oh, there's Hoarders Haven in at eight. We're looking for nine. Eight looking for nine on uh, Hoarders Haven. Kim Vizi's in at nine, looking for ten. Ms. Vizi is in at nine. We're looking for ten, please. Hmm. Finding stuff I want to keep. This is not fun. <laughs> That's the problem, ain't it? That's Hoarders not supposed Haven to happen. Out. So, I'm going to count this for. Ms. Kim, we're going to going once it. Going once it. Yeah, man, we're going <laughs> to going twos it. Going twos in. And we are going to fair warning, everybody. Fair warning, don't miss out on this. And we are going to say sold to Miss Kim at nine. Thank you, Kim. Thank you, everyone. Appreciate your bids. Spectacular pieces. Okay, Kim at $9, right? Okay. Now, this next piece I want to show you, I believe it was a vintage item that was then converted into a stick pin. It's not original to this stick pin, um, from my opinion, but I'll show you. Here's the back. You see, it's got this large plastic disc, which is actually very interesting. And now it's got me thinking about some other projects. And then you've got this gorgeous vintage item. Look at this. Is that not gorgeous? Gordon has one of these, something like this, in sterling silver. Teresa will tell you, because Teresa has one too. And what did it have? Bird feathers glued on it, Teresa? Oh, my God. It was funny. unbelievable. Um, this one we're gonna start at five dollars. Five dollars. Starting, bid, starting yep. bid of five dollars. 
That little, is a statement piece. Little piece is special there. That would look nice on any outfit. Uh, a lapel, a blouse. And Kim what, what, in five, Ms. Vizzi's in Just such a pretty piece. I'm looking for six. Yeah, isn't that amazing, Serena and Teresa? Man, that thing is killer. Rise Up is in at seven. Looking for eight. Thank Rise you, guys. I've been looking for eight. That's Mike. I, know, I like saying Rise Up. I, I like that, man. You know I mean? Rise <laughs> Up, man. You know what I mean? Rise Up to be the best that you can be and all that, man. I like the sentiment. Yes. And Ms. Kim is out. So we're going to count this down for Mike. Otherwise known as Rise Up. <laughs> We're going to going once it. I don't know where I got this thing from. Holy cow. I love selling with you guys. I find stuff I haven't seen ever. <laughs> going twice. Piece of hair in there, though. There we go. This is absolutely gorgeous. Fair warning. And sold. Rise up for seven. Mike. Awesome, Mike. Thanks, Mike. Thank you, Kim. That is Everybody a else. Piece. Mike at seven. Okay, so I just found this um, in with my stick pins. Don't know where it came from. Never saw it before. I don't even know. So we're going to have to look at it together. So it's this little char charm bracelet, right? It's got a fold over closure. And we got to look at this together because I have no idea what it is. Come on, close. All right, so you have what looks like a partridge. Oh my God, it's the 12 days of Christmas. It's a partridge. Holy moly. Oh, wow. That is crazy. Oh, that is awesome. 12 days ago, we sing this every single Christmas. I make everybody in my family sit around the table. Everyone takes an ornament and we all sing together and they hate it. Okay, look, you got the <laughs> number nine on that one too. They That's hate it. Cheap. All right, so wait one, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh my God. Oh, oh, yes. I freaking love it. Holy moly. But I'll sell it. All right. I ain't going to wear it. Let me measure it. It measures seven inches. But you can add anything to this. Jump rings are easy to make. You could rip off an extension chain from one of your necklaces and just clamp it right on. Seven inch. I'm going to start this little piece of pretty at, uh, at $10. Ten dollars starting bid on the twelve days of Christmas. Bracelet. I love it. I would put that on a necklace. I think. Put it on a chain. That is super cool. There isn't that adorable. Oh Box my goodness! And I, I must have hit it, hit it, because I liked it, <laughs> and yeah. then forgot about it. Yeah. But that Chris is, is in a ten. Looking fabulous. for eleven. That is fabulous, right there. Okay, take these other stick pins away. Miss Heron is in at 12. Looking That's Vanessa. Christy's in at 14. Looking for 15. Vanessa comes in at 15. We're looking for 16. Miss Vanessa is in at 15. Looking for 16. Christy Dew is at 16. Vanessa responds back with 18. Vanessa is 18. Looking for 19. Glad you bought it because otherwise I'd have to sing the 12 days of Christmas to you. We don't want that. Christy at 20. Christy's at 20. Looking for 21. Thanks, guys. Or better. Christy's in at 20. Looking for 21 or better. <laughs> I love it. Christy, you're going to make me put an extension on it, aren't you? Vanessa's in at 22. Oh. Looking for 21 or better. Or Vanessa. Go backwards. Huh? 
He said we're 22, looking for 21 or better. Oh, I'm sorry. 22? <laughs> okay. Well, Christy's in a James, 24. you're fired. So there you go, Christy. You're helping me out there. Now you're fired. 24, <laughs> looking for 25 or better. It's been a long day. And Vanessa's in at 25. So look 26 or better. Thanks, guys. <laughs> sorry about that. My apologies. <laughs> Christy's in at 26. Oh, and Judith jumps oh, in at 26, but Ju she's good at 27 or better. Judy jumped in at 26 there, but Christy came in first, so we're looking for 27 or better. Vanessa is out. Judy's in at 27. Looking Thanks, 20 Vanessa. Yes, thank you, Miss Heron. We appreciate you. And Christy is in at 28, looking for 29. Chrissy's in at 28, looking for 29. Chrissy's in at 28, looking for 29. I just got buzzed by a fly. Oh, I hate that. Judy's in at 30, looking for 31. Christy's in at 31, looking for 32. See, I'm not the only one that looks at 12 days of Christmas. <laughs> I love the 12 days of Christmas. Well, wait till I tell my nieces next Christmas. I'm going to say, see? So it's Judy Daly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We have two Judys now. I'm sorry, Judith. Um, and Judith Daly is out. Judy is Judy. Christy is at 31. We're going to count this down. Going once at 31 for Christy Do. Going twice at 31 for Christy Dew. I'm going to slap a fair warning on here if I can get it. I keep wanting to put up F-E. I'm going to be like, what? Fair E? You're typing uh, that into your phone? Oh, yeah. I'm doing all this on my phone, man. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, man. Oh, I'm a trooper. Okay. And fair warning and sold to Christy Fox Dew for 31. Oh, thanks everybody. Take care of my bracelet. Enjoy it. Thank you, thank you guys. Appreciate it. Awesome piece. That is an awesome piece. <laughs> I, I have in, <laughs> in, on my fa Facebook group. I have what four Terry's? Yeah, yeah, we have four Terry's. That, that gets group. confusing. Yeah. I've done that. Yeah. Well, now <laughs> that I know, I will try to use the last names now. Thank you, and but I don't know how to say your last name. So I'll just call you Judith D. Well, they're both Judith D. Oh, Jesus, it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's funny, Judith. <laughs> and Dark. welcome. Thanks for being here. Okay, <laughs> so this is a sterling silver um, hummingbird. It's a, a little bit over an inch and a half. It's marked 925. I'm going to start this at $12. $12 on the Marcusite. Sterling silver hummingbird. Ah, oh, he likes my flower. Look, he's happy. Yeah, there you go. Judith Daly is Judy. Okay, starting bed at twelve, and she is Judith Dutu. Yes. Okay, starting bed at twelve on the sterling silver. What would you call that? Thirty. It's Arrow. a hummingbird. Hummingbird. Okay, cool, man. Uh, I didn't have zoo books as a kid. I don't oh, know my God. <laughs> you better stick around auction a little bit more. I'm sorry. All right, no hummingbird lovers. Wow. All right, do you guys have other items you want to put up? Did you want to go for a bit, hon? I mean, if Sue wants to keep going, I'm If fine. you want to keep going, Lisa's fine with it. You're, like, in the zone, kid. Um, it. she's got more items to show, right? Yeah, yeah, I, I do. Yeah, we got a ton of stuff. I but Lisa saying, but my dinner, my dinner is calling me. Let's go till eight. How's that? Can we go yeah. till eight? Okay. I didn't plan on going this late, but <laughs> you know, I mean, I like to feel out the room uh, as far as you know. I'm trying to understand when people show up, when they don't show up, um, stuff like that. So if we can do that, that would be awesome. I'm having a blast just hanging out with everybody, man. 
James said birdie. He did say birdie. All right, we're going to go ahead and kick it on over to Lisa and James and see what they have for you now, guys. Thanks for being here. Appreciate you all. Yeah. Show my Nike mans again. Ooh, she wants me to show the Nike mans again. Okay. The Nike men. But they are. They have been covered. <laughs> they are very shy. You know, um, this is African Bloodstone. He is built. He's got buns of steel right there. Okay. We have African Bloodstone. We have Peach Calcite. Right there. Peach Calcite, right? Look at them abs, man. He's got them John Base style abs. <laughs> it's true. You know what I mean? He also comes with buns of steel. And then sunstone. Wow. Put a little bit more light on that sunstone. Looks like the surface of the sun, hence the name. Okay. That's Fun. a beautiful stone. I love it. I love it. I if, if, yeah, if you guys are digging on the sunstone, we do have it in other forms. Not so muscular. Okay. So, <laughs> so let me give you guys a height on them so you guys know. These are $35. Uh, do them 30. Oh, 30. We're just going to drop it down to 30 today. Wow. They are about three inches, three and a quarter inches tall. Okay. So we have African Bloodstone, Peach Calcite, and the Spectacular Sunstone. So, but if you guys are digging on the sunstone and you'd like to see something else in this material, we can definitely accommodate you in about three seconds. Hook you up. Yep. We are here for you. I'm trying to get all my little stick pins in this little thing. Okay. We are all about you. Starting bid at 30, guys. I mean, buy it now at 30. Buy it yep. now at 30. Buy it now. I love that they're censored. Should make up little loincloths for him. Who looks like that? Without the sticker. Who said that? Yeah, these were modeled after me from like this point up, man. That's actually me. It's raw. No, just kidding. <laughs> I am fat, man. It's... All right. I think we're passing. Yeah, yep. we're, we're done with them. <laughs> Away with these men. Away with you boys. Um, pull up my black. There we go. There's a choker. Okay. That doesn't feel like stone to me. Look at that. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Which container do I need? Beautiful. Um, costume, correct? Yes. Okay, does not... That does not feel like stone, but it is very warm here where we're at. Um, I converted our garage to Lisa's studio. I have not gotten HVAC out here yet. So, yeah, it does not feel like stone, but very iridescent. Um, we have some oranges, some yellows, iridescent running through here. What is our starting price or bin? Show the class. Oh. <laughs> we have to measure it. Here is your clasp, lobster claw. Very nice. Beautiful. And what is our measurement? Oops. What would be our starting price, though? Uh, eight bucks. Eight bucks, Ben? Uh, yeah, buy it now. Eight dollars, buy it now. Eight dollars, buy Sorry. Oh, just let me down. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, pulling out, pulling out necklace at its longest. Yeah, 16 inch at its longest. Like, that's unattached to 16, so it would be 8. Yeah, this is a choke. <laughs> yep. I'm not doing anything. My computer's... I'm not even near my computer. Okay. Your computer's messing with us, man. There we go. So there we go. It is a choker's tile. It is very nice. I like it. It's got James's endorsement. Yeah, man. I would wear this if my beard wouldn't cover it up. <laughs> <laughs> Toss a little bit more light on that. I can't believe I have to do that. I have like 50,000 watts of light in this room now. All right. Pass. 
Paris. Out of here. Let's We're... do a auction pawn stone. Okay. Ooh, auction pawn stone. Uh, starting bid eight dollars. Starting bid eight dollars of the Labradorite palm stone. Look at the flash on that. Beautiful blue flash on this palm stone. I mean, I'll take your eyes out that flash. Wow. Look at that. Flash. How much starting bid? Eight dollar. Eight dollar starting bid. Let me give you guys a quick measurement on it so you guys can see. It's about two and a half inches. Labrador, uh, Labradorite's a great stone for dispelling negative energy. Um, I, I, I lift me almost all the time. Bra rock. Yeah, it's my bra rock. Um, it's also said to calm an overactive mind and energize the imagination to bring new ideas. Great piece. Starting bid eight dollars, guys. Labradorite. It's uh. Reason why Lisa carries this around too is it calms everybody in your general vicinity too. <laughs> People will be nicer to you. Man. Yeah. No lie. You have that snotty coworker or boss carry some Labradorite with you. Yeah. They'll stop being so damn snotty to you. What kind of control would I have on the bus with all my 44 kids? They're too far Anything? away from <laughs> They're too far away? All right. They're, they're too far away. All right. No, no, no play in there. But I got a really big one. Maybe I'll take that one. There you go. Yeah, you go. Yeah. D just plant them under the seats. <laughs> all right. Pass on that. Yeah, you guys coin? got it. Yes, I have a coin. I think Rise Up bought the original one of these. I had both of these at the time. This is the proof of this one. Um, I forgot what the price is. It is German. It is a 10 Deutschmark from 1988. Okay. Carl Zeiss. 1816 through 1885, 88, okay, he had something to do with opticals. So they decided to, you see the microscope in the back? So they decided to make a coin for him. It's a very nice coin. You have your heraldic eagle here. Um, and I forgot what the price was on this. Um, make it up. Make it up. Uh, 15 bucks. I think Buy it now, way $15. Underpriced. Buy it now, 15 I think this is way underpriced. I'm thinking I did it to myself here. Grab it, grab it, 15. grab it. I can't remember what I had this at. I should start putting tags on these things for myself. Um, I believe this is 800 silver. I might be mistaken, though. You might be mistaken? Might be. This is silver, though. I like it. It is cool. I'm just sitting here laying out jewelry. I'm sorry, guys. It's I'm okay. It's okay. The necklace is out. Okay, looks like we're going to pass on that anyhow. Okay, there we go. Carl Zeiss is in the background again. Do this one as an auction. We're going to do this one as an auction. This says handmade Mujin, which is Germany, I am assuming. Let me try to get that better for you. Okay, this is a Rosenthal. It is hand painted. How pretty that is. I don't know the flowers. Don't know the flowers. <laughs> I didn't know a hummingbird. How could I possibly know the flowers? And this is, <laughs> and this is darn right, man. Um, and this is going to be an auction. And our starting bid is going to be Ms. Lisa. Fifteen dollars starting bid. Fifteen starting bid for this beautiful Rosenthal hand porcelain pendant. Rosenthal hand painted porcelain pendant. That's so cheap. There's all hallmarks. God, I wish I could zoom. 
No, you got to get used to that. It's a rough, uh, it's a rough thing, but it happened. You got to, you got, you'll get used to it. Dude, you got to send that to me. I'll post it for you. Yep. You got it. It's because there's no, there's no way if it's not, do you put it up twice? If it's not selling, let's just post it. It's a great piece. Somebody out there will love it. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Okay. No interest in that guys. No problem at all. It's not for everybody. It's not for everyone's taste. It's not your forte. Oh, never it's mind. Kelly's in at 15. Oh, Kelly's in at 15. It's coming back. Coming back. Girl, okay. Kelly. That was the power of the turtle. <laughs> as soon as I busted out the turtle, man, the power of the turtle. Let me clean this glass here real quick. I'm about to glue one of these turtles to this. Yeah, you want to met? Did you measure it? That's a big pendant, too. Sure. That is a two-inch pendant. That's almost just two crazy. Inch. It's gorgeous. I hope you guys like vintage necklaces because I'm pulling them all out. All right, I'm not seeing any more interest, so we're going to count it down. Going once. Going twice. Thank you, Lisa. Yep, no problem. Fair warning. Fair warning, guys. It's about to go away. <laughs> and sold to Kelly. Thank you very much. Kelly, thank you so much. Awesome, Kelly. I think you're going to really, really enjoy this for a long time to come. It is an amazing piece. And we will have to pack this like nothing has ever been packed before. Put it in a box. That's what I do. I'm going to put it in a 9 nine by 9 by 9 box and just cover it. In <laughs> With toilet paper. Like, what is this box that you could ship a bowling ball in? If it'll open up and be like, oh, my porcelain pendant. But it's in great shape. So. <laughs> you know. Oh, uh, this is amethyst. No, that's uh, fluorite. Oh, this is a fluorite. Oh, yeah, look at that. Fluorite forms in a cubic form. Okay. Um. Fluorite comes in many, many, many different colors. Uh, you know, you have clear, your yellow, green, blues, purples, um, dark purple almost into a black. Uh, this one appears to be a yellowish green. It is very stunning. This is a specimen. Um, it also has what looks like calcite growing on it, possibly. Looks like there may be a bit with some dog's tooth starting to come up on it. Um, what is our price on this one, baby doll? Uh, twenty-five. $25. Buy it now, $25. Buy it now, $25. There we go. I'll do it on my phone. Get a little calcite growing in it. At least it appears to be calcite. Not quartz. Buy it now, $25. That's me, guys. Sue and Aziata. I'm having trouble on my computer. Buy it now, 25. Let me give you guys a measurement. This is four inches that way. It sits like that. It is gorgeous. I mean, you could stand it. That is flat-ish there. See that? That would stand. I would definitely put something behind it, though. That is awesome fluorite. I love me some fluorite. Look at that. Beautiful. We'll let that simmer there for a little bit. Simmer down. I have more glass pendants. Oh, you found more glass pendants? Yeah, there we go, guys. Get ready. More of the hand-blown glass pendants. They're going to be coming up. We're going to get rid of this. This offensive fluorite. Let me clear this off here. Uh, Kim asked for you to light it again, please. Oh, sure, Kim. Not a problem. It is hard to light it and have it up close enough. I hope that you can see that properly. That is amazing. It's a really nice piece. It's a spectacular specimen. That's the back of it. Beautiful piece. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. So let us know on that. If you change your mind or you want that, it'll be here. Definitely something to think about, that piece. Oh, yeah. I mean, it is quite stunning. I mean, you can use that as a centerpiece. It sits really nice. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. These are bigger glass pendants. These blown glass pendants. Ooh. Okay, this one is a two and a half inch. Beautiful piece. Look at that. This is going to be for choice, right, hon? Yep. Okay. How much for choice? Six. Six dollars. Starting bid, Lisa, or bin? Uh, you know, let's do starting bid. Why not? All right, yeah, we'll do an auction. Six dollars starting bid for choice. Look at this heart. Okay, let me throw let me throw a quick measurement. I always measure heart side to side. That's a rock person thing, I guess. That's an inch and three quarters, and that is about inch and a half. Beautiful heart. Okay, and then wow. That's my favorite. Yeah, this is my favorite too. Christy's in at six. Thank you, Christy. Thank you, Miss Christy. This one comes up at inch and three quarter. Wow, look at that. That's like amazing. Cobalt blue. Leaf. Cobalt blue leaf with like this white running down the center of it. Let me get the lucky turtle out. Because all of these deserve to have a closer look. All right, we have six with Christy, looking for seven. Six with Christy. Okay. We're going to start counting it down. Kim is in at seven. Christy is in at eight. That we is have fun. Christy at eight, looking for nine. Wow. Christy is in at eight. We're looking for nine. Thank you for your bids. Kim is out. Look at that one, though. All right. I'm going to go ahead and start counting this down for Christy. Going once. Thank you, Kim. Thank you very much. We're going to go out. We're going to go twice to Christy at $8. Number one, number two, number three. Go fair warning. And we're going to count that down sold in three, two, and one. There we go. Thank you so much, ladies. Which would you like? One, two, or three, or all. Or any combination. Or any combination thereof. <laughs> the heart, please. You got it, Christy. Thank you very much. Okay. Good choice. Are you doing a backup? Uh, there is no backup. Nobody else was bidding. Oh, yeah. yeah no, Kim. But Kim bid. Right. Yeah, if, if Kim likes one of the others, absolutely. Kim, we have number one and number three left. Nice one, Christy. Yeah, I good love, choice. I love that leaf. Three, please. Yep. Kim wants three. Three. Right. Good you. choice. Okay, Kim, that, you got that at $8. Congratulations. That was Lisa's fave. Yeah, it's a beauty. Beautiful one, man. I love cobalt glass. I do, too. I actually you have know, a few pieces. The color of it is amazing. So this guy will go back in. Bye. Back in the rotation. Wave bye-bye, everyone. Wave bye-bye, Pendant. Bye-bye, Pendant. Yeah, I think so, too, Kim. It's awesome. They're both beautiful. That was a beautiful heart, Christy. Okay. We've got some silver. I don't know if uh, there's any silver people left here. Okay, these are um, not that expensive. This is a Un Decimo Balboa from Panama. This is 90% silver. It's about the size of a dime. Uh, this would be a buy it now of five. These are super cool. This is celebrating the 50th anniversary of Panama. 
Oops. Drop the turtle, guys. Come on, turtle. Turtle, turtle, turtle. Actually, that's you got the turtle there right now? 1953. Yep. Yep. That's good. I'm using the turtle on this. Republica de Panama, 1953. This thing is in amazing shape. And it is $5. 90% silver. Awesome. Okay. All right, so guys, that is available. If nobody, if anybody's interested, please feel free to uh, ask about it or um, we'll ask later. Up. We're going to pass on it for the time being. See if Kim wants to do, or Sue wants to do another quick round because it's almost 8 o'clock. Oh, it's almost 8. Did you want to do another quick round? Sue? Yeah, but you can finish. No, 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 no. We're good, man. We're okay. Good. All right, I'm just going to go through some vintage necklaces. I don't know if they're signed or not signed. I just pulled them out of a bin. Um, if there's any interest, I'm just going to show them to you. And if you like something, we'll put up a, a price on it. Okay. So um, there's quite a few I just laid out. Okay. Ooh, wow, dumped. So um, we have some of the uh, double and triple strands up in here. We got some of the enamels, milk glass rhinestones. Uh, I don't know if these are considered the thermostat set or thermostat, whatever thermostat I think they're called. And then we got some others down here. Um, some have a little bit more wear than others, and then some silver tones. Uh, but I'm going to start off with this glass because is it is amazing. Oh. Wow. Okay, look at this thing. Here's your vintage closure. Look at this. Is this not amazing? It's like garland. The way that they have this done. I mean, these beautiful uh, beads. And they have the blunt ends. You know, it's like they cut off the tip, but yet they're upside down. You know what I mean? They're gorgeous. That's so unique. I've this never... is just, and it's heavy. So, I mean, I, most likely glass. I'm sell selling it as glass, but it is just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Very unique. Um, it's different sizes going through, uh, some round, some square. Never saw anything like it. Let me get your measurement. I'm going to start this at 18. $18 start. On the gorgeous. It measures That's 20 inch. 20 inch. All right, and Lisa's doing the typing in. Look at that thing. Wow. Is that not gorgeous? Wow. And then it's got the round beads towards the back where the closure is. It is just gorgeous. And I just pulled that out of a bin. Could you imagine just giving it a warm wipe? It's oh. sharp around the edges. Um, it's very beautiful. If anybody's That's interested awesome. in that. Isn't that crazy, right, Judy? It's unbelievable. All right. So that is there for 18. Just say Christy, 18. For the length on that, Christy Fox, do would like to know 20 the inch. This is 20 inch. It is like ice on a string. 20 inch. And I'm sorry for talking over you, Sue. No, that's uh, uh, no problem. 20 inch. Christy, it's a good length. It's a good length. It's just super unique. Christy's in at 18. Looking for 19. It's just really, really, it's like, you know, your mother's jewelry box. You just grab this kind of stuff and you walk around your house playing, wearing her shoes. You know what I mean? That's what these remind me of, these gorgeous things. Just really fun piece. It's All right, you can count that down for Christy. It's elegant. There we got Christy in at 18, going once. Going twice at 18. Fair warning at 18. And so I'm waiting for it to pop on my screen. Mm -hmm. 
Sold. Thank you, Christy. Yeah, sold. Okay, never popped up on my screen. <laughs> there it goes. Sold to Christy. Okay. Um, then I'm going to do uh, these for choice. Uh, these are silver tone. Um, I'll let you know if I see a mark or a signature. I don't. I don't see anything on this one. This one is... Come on, measuring tape. This one is, uh, gosh, 17 inch, 17 inch on this design. And this one is just gorgeous. The leaves, I mean, it, it is beautifully made. This is a Crown Trafari. There is your little mark right there, Crown Trafari. This definitely needs a wipe down. There's no question about it. Crown Trafari. This one measures, oh, got tangled. Give me a second. This one measures uh, safely, let's call it 16 inch, 16 inch. So, I mean, I don't see a signature on this one. This one's a Crown Trafari. I'm going to start these at uh, $8, $8 for choice, starting bid at $8 for choice. It's like fishing. Every time I put this down, it's grabbing something else. You have so much stuff, man. It's all cool. way too much. Wait, I have not shopped in over a month. Way too much stuff. This one is so incredible. This Crown Safari, just gorgeous. Uh, Sugar Vision is in at eight. Hi, Steven. Are you home? Yes, they're both silver tone. These are both silver tone. We're at eight, looking for nine. <laughs> uh, Judith Daly is in at 10, looking for 11. And Judith Daly in at 10, looking Thank for 11. Thank you, Judy. And I'm going to make a note, um, whoever does get the Crown Trafari, because if I find earrings in my plethora of clip-on costume earrings, I will be sure to make sure you get those at no extra charge. Sugar Vision in at 11, and Judith Daly in at 12, looking for 13. Thank Judith you, guys. At 12, looking for 13. There's too many Judy's. The <laughs> sugar vision in at 13, looking for 14. Lisa, you have work tomorrow? Yes. Oh, sorry. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> She's like, yes. <laughs> um, this one is, uh, I think I said 17 inch. If you're talking about the Crown Trafari, which I think we are, uh, the Crown Trafari, I think, was uh, 16 safe. Yeah, 16 on the crown. I mean, this is just beautifully made. Just gorgeous. This one's 16. That's the one I think you guys are talking about. This one, like I said, I did not see a mark, but I just looked very quickly. The second one, I'm looking now. I don't see anything on it. The second one was a total of 17 inch. The second is 17 inch. Judith Daly came in at 14, Sugar Vision at 15, Judith Daly at 18, looking for 19. Sugar Vision in at 19, looking for 20. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. Judith Daly in at 20, looking for 21. Sugar Vision is out. Judith Daly at 20. All right. Count it on down for her. Thank you, Stephen. Going once. Going twice. Fair warning. Fair warning, everyone. And sold to Judy Daly. Judith Daly for 20. Judy, do you want the unsigned or do you want the crown trafari? Just to verify, I'm sure it's the crown, but just wanted to be sure. Because I know Steven definitely wanted the crown. 
crown. You got it, sweetie. Thank you so much. Yeah, that crown. Steven, of course, I'll offer you the other one. I'm thinking you don't want it, but it's there if you choose that you do want it. Sometimes you can see stuff that I don't see, but that is available at 20 if you're interested. Okay. Um, now, these are, uh, these I'm going to do for a minimal amount of money. I like these, but they have uh, the chains definitely need some work. Um, maybe some white vinegar, not 100% sure if they will come 100%, but this is a really cool piece. But you see what I'm saying? Um, it definitely, it, they're sturdy. Don't get me wrong. I don't see any marks or signatures on this one. This one comes with a pair of clip-on earrings. Okay. And then this one, also an older piece, has some wear on the metal. These are beautiful pink glass stones. Again, some wear. Here's your closure. Again, no signature. I'm going to start these at uh, $3 each. $3 for choice. This one measures, the pink is 14 inches, just a bit over 14 inch, $3 for choice. You can use those stones for something. They are fabulous. Ms. VZ and at three. The second one with the earrings is uh, 16 inch, 16 inch. It's like a, a chocolate brown color. And it has your clip earrings to match. Kim VZ would like you to show number one slowly, please. Okay. It has not been touched since I got it. So I don't know if it just needs a good cleaning but it's not broken in any way but you could tell the metals have some uh discoloration kim said no the first one that you showed <laughs> this is the first one i guess the other one oh. <laughs> and she yeah. and sugar vision would like to know if you have any shirapelli or Shia Pelly, Shia Pelly. Um, I tell him, uh, tell him, Stephen, I will look and bring it tomorrow night. I do remember having a piece. I have to check and see if I still have it. I don't think I have any on this table right now. See, it lo almost looks like a brass color. And then here is your back. Actually, let me check this one piece. Okay, Kim, we have a minute three. If you're interested, Kim, you could you could uh, retract if you choose. Um, she said perfect. Thank you. We have Kim oh, okay. in at three, looking for four. Kim's in at three, looking for four. Uh, what is this one? I have a, a Duville. Duville. I have a DeVille piece. I don't know anything about it. Do you want to see that, Stephen? DeVille, if I'm saying it correctly. Pretty fabulous piece. Should we count this one down? Yep, I think we're going to count this down for Kim at three. No other interest in it. Okay, you got it. Going once. Going once. $3, right, guys? Yes, ma'am, to Ms. VZ. Going twice. Fair warning. And you heard her say it. It's a fair warning. And sold. Kim. Sold to Kim Vizi for three. Uh, did you want the pink or the brown? One or two? Or both? I got some lag going. I'm, I'm watching both. Brown number two, please. You got it, dear. No problem. That's an awesome buy. Yeah, I just don't like to sell things unless, I mean, I don't mind selling them, but I can't too high of a price if I feel they're not 100%. Okay, yeah. so that one will go to the side. All 
All right, Stephen, I'll jump in with this one real quick for you um, or anybody else. This is a signed DeVille, if I'm saying that correctly. I don't know if these are faux or not. I know nothing about this piece. I did not research it in any way, shape, or form. I'm assuming everything on here is acrylic. I'm going to hang it on the bus just so you can really appreciate the piece. And it goes through onto these amazing pieces, um, which are almost like a um, aura colored, um, you know, rainbow bead. This measures about 19 and a half inches. Let me just put it on this large bust here. Just give me a quick second to get it clipped. And I'll start this guy at $15. Come on, there we go. Wow. Look at that up there. That looks phenomenal. Sugar Vision's in at 15. Looking for 16. Great color combination, don't you think? Love all these little clearish beads. And these almost feel like a, uh, like somewhat, maybe, I don't know if it's a fabric. I don't know. It's really cool. It's a cool piece. It's quite striking. I, I, I really like it. I love the color combination in it. And we have provision in at 15, looking for 16. All right, James, if you don't see any movement, don't be hesitate. Yep. Yep, Lisa's doing, typing it in now, going once. I got another rhinestone here. The <coughs> warning. And <coughs> oh, to Sugar Vision at 15. Congrats, Steven. That is a spectacular piece. If Roberta was here, she'd be screaming at me, list it, list it. <laughs> That's all she does. List it. <laughs> I mean, I have a couple of things on eBay, no jewelry. But uh, thank you, Stephen. <clears throat> all right, let's run through these a couple of these pieces, these rhinestone pieces. I'm going to pull these back for a second because there's just too much going on here. And uh, I know Lisa's been working her bottom off. Sugar Virgin says she will buy it from me. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the way it goes around, man. Circle it around. Circle it around. Oh, yeah. This is a beautiful gold tone. A, B. <coughs> Excuse me. Red in color. Absolutely gorgeous. Here is your chain. Does have a mark. Let's see what it says. This is a Lisner. Lisner, Lisner. Here's your other end. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're going to start these at $8 for choice. So I'm going to do the three. $8 for choice. This is a 16 and a half inch. The blue one, though, I have to explain this to you. <clears throat> this stone looks like a different color to me. I don't know if it was repaired and it looks like a pretty much of a different color. See what I'm saying? <clears throat> Super pretty gold tone. It's got the S closure. I mean the S chain. Kind of a cool piece. I don't see any marks on it. Let me show you the back. See if we come up with something. And this one measures. Shepherd's Judith Enclosure Juju is in at eight. This one is a uh, 16 inch, maybe just a little bit over. And then this one, faux pearl. Now, I can tell you that these are white, these big ones, and these are almost like a. Uh, Lisa's in at nine. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa coming in there at nine, looking for. Is she bidding? Lisa is bidding. She saw something. No, too. I don't have. I have a, a ton of costume rings. I don't have. I re really am out of um, out of sterling rings. I just have that one massive um, 
ring. So I guess what I'm trying to say is these are a different color, these little ones. This one is a... Let me see. I got to look under the loop. This one is a Mar Marvel. This one's a Marvel. This one, all the stones are present. Shepherd took closure. This one is 16 and a quarter inch. 16 and a quarter inch. Here's your back. We still have Lisa in at nine looking for 10. And then it's got the rhinestones on the chain. That's gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful piece. Judith Dutu is out. We have Lisa at nine. What are you bidding on? You know how I am, Sue. I ended up with the buckle ring with a different color stone. So now I have this thing with something that has an off stone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If there's no other movement. Yep. We're going to count it down for Lisa at nine. Okay. We're going to do going once. I don't think Lisa's typing it in because, like, she's in this now. So, um, going twice at nine for Lisa. Fair warning, everyone. Okay, and bang, hammer drops for Lisa. Sold nine. Thank you, Sue. Thanks, Lee. Which one? The one with the different color stones. The different colored stones, please, Sue. Oh, the blue one or the red? The blue. Yes. Yes. The blue one. Blue. Okay. <laughs> uh, Nine dollars. You got it, Judith. Do you want the another one? Feel free to pick one you might like for nine. Yep. And Judith would like the Lesnar, 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 Lesnar. Depends on who you talk, who you talk to. Yeah. All right. Uh, that is Judith. Okay. Uh, that would be this one, I believe. Very cool, though, man. I thought Lisa was going to get that one. <laughs> yeah, because of the red, right? Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. Her and the red. Gorgeous. And... That's a gorgeous piece, Judith. Love That's... the flowers. Super pretty. Okay, let me get that in a bag. Um, Kelly, the rings I have, I don't know if you mean massive in size or massive in... Um design uh as far as my massive rings i only have this big huge biggest wow. thing sterling silver this one i have a ton of costume i'm going to prep those that's a seven and three quarters i have this huge knot ring and that is a six and a half and this ring i've never shown because uh the stone is a little bit loose tiny little bit of movement in this stone but if you're prepared to buy it as is I'll be happy to sell it. This is a size seven. So if anybody likes ring number one, ring number two, or ring number three, I could put a price on that for you. Um, let me just check, see if there's these are marked with anything, see if anybody's interested in these. And then we could call it a night. Okay, there's no marks on the silver. Um, this one... Uh, Hoarders Haven is looking for size 12 through 13. Oh, well, I have the one Dragon's Blood sterling silver. It's a heavy duty ring. I'll show that to you. Um, no marks or signatures on the green. So if anybody's interested in the green, we'll call this uh, tan silver. I'll bring those up. Those will, I could start these at five for choice if you guys are interested. The silver comes with a pair of earrings. I don't know if they're married. It looks like they're a set. I'll pass on these. Here, I'll put in $5 choice necklaces there. If anybody is interested in any of those. Let me get these here. Um, uh, Judith Daly would like to know if you can combine tomorrow and tonight shipping. Oh, of course. Absolutely. I'm um, actually, I'm, I'm probably not going to invoice till tomorrow after tomorrow's show, guys. It's too close. It's and too Judith, close. We don't know if Serena is in the group right now. 
And Judith Daly is in at five on the necklaces, on the necklace choice. Okay, so that's one, two, three. Uh, these these were married with these little clip-ons. I'll include those for the green. The only one that doesn't have earrings is this one here. Um, I'll give you length on those. This is a size 10. This is a dragon's blood. I don't know if you're interested in a size 10. I think you said bigger. This one's 45. Start, 45 start on the dragon's blood, if anybody likes that. It was dragon's blood, girls. I forget now. Uh, looks like dragon's blood. Lisa, what do you say? Um, I'm lagging. Oh, okay. It's got yeah. a little red dot right there. Yeah, that's dragon's, dragon's blood. blood. That's definitely dragon's blood. Okay, let me just run through these uh, lengths for her. African bloodstone, dragon's or, blood. Or, oh, I'm sorry, yeah, or African bloodstone. One okay, the... this one is just over 17 inches. You can count that down for her. Okay. This one is just over 16 inches. And the green, which is kind of funky, looks definitely older. No marks. Oh, wait, is that a Hong Kong probably? Let me just check. The green one, yeah, it says Hong Kong on the uh, clip. Fair this one on is 18 inch. So those are the three we're looking at. The dragon's blood. Judith Daly would like the green, please, at five. Oh, she's got it. The dragon's blood, African blood's tone is a starting bit of 45. If anyone's yep. interested. Um, okay, this is Judith, and this is Judy. Okay. Yeah, Judith Daly got the green necklace at five. Yeah, I call her Judy, and I call the other one Judith for my records. Yes, ma'am. So I don't get myself confused. Because uh -huh. that's not hard. Like me with curry, curry, curry. I woke up confused, man. <laughs> okay, this is Judy at five. Okay, does anybody see anything on the table they might be interested in? The enamels. The Therma, whatever the heck it is. Um, the I have uh, one um, milk glass. So if you're interested, I could put those up. If not, we will call it a night, and I will look for larger rings, and I'll find that thing that James was, uh, Stephen's looking for. Judith Daly's looking for pink, and Judith Dutu said Thermos. Okay. Therma. All right, let me just get this mark for Judith. D, and, and this a lot was of for milk glass. Okay, all right, all right. So let's get rid of this and this. Push those to the side. All right, this one's super pretty. Um, silver tone. Did got you in my that's drawer. That's what it is. I think you got there. You right. go. Judith, Judy, whatever. <laughs> I <know. laughs> Here you go. And I Kim don't see. Saying both white ones. I'm sorry to talk over you, Sue. That's okay. I just want you to have all the info. And this one is 16 inch. 16 inch. I'll just do them all together. Um, the blue one comes with clip on earrings. And we're going to do them at uh, $7 for choice. The blue one is 16 inch. Some um, residue on the back. It has. Pardon me. Kim is asking for all three white, please. I only have two. The rest. Oh, maybe this one she's talking about. Judith Dutu in at seven, and Judith Daly in at seven also. So we need eight or better. Okay, this one has a copyright on it, but I don't see any other marks. So that's the blue. And then the white is a gold tone. A gold tone. Here's your back on the on the uh, white. Uh, Dutu. Gold tone. Oh, this one's marked. Okay, this one is marked. Coro. This one's a Coro. So I bet you, I wonder if this one's a Coro too. They're almost identical. They're got to be. This one has a little, oh, there it is, Coro. Kim Vizi said, the white one. 
the one white, and she's retracted it. It's okay. I'm having okay, fun. so these are the three we're bidding on. The blue ones have earrings. This is milk glass. Is that the white one she's talking about? That's the only white one I have. This is beige. <laughs> this is beige. Embrace the chaos, guys. Okay, so where are we on these? Judy Daly, Judy Daly is in at 10, looking for 11. Wait, what? Yeah, Kim said wait. Kim, I'm, these are together. They're with... all the same, so I'm putting them all together. These are uh, for choice, for choice. Coro, Coro, unsigned. Yeah, Kim was looking for white milk glass. Okay, I have that in my hand. That'll be next. Okay. okay. Judy Dutch, she was out. Silver tone, gold tone, silver tone. She's saying, but yes, you didn't give a chance for second choice. I want white up top. Oh, the other set of necklaces? The other set of necklaces? Oh, no, no. She said, okay, thank you. If you just haven't bought Oh, okay, okay, okay. I think there's some lag issues here. Yeah, okay, no cool. worries. So we have Judas Daly in at 10. All right, Judith and Judith. Judith is out. Okay, so, so count that down for her. Judith Daly. Okay, going once at 10 for Judith Daly. Going twice. Fair warning. And sold to Judith Daly at 10. All right, Judith, we'll do pink, white, or blue. Blue has earrings. And thank you so much, everybody, for your bids. I'm dealing with some lag. <clears throat> okay, both silver, pink, and blue. Both silver, pink, and blue. I got yep. it. Okay, Judy, Judith, do you want the other one, the Coro? The other Coro? Thank you, dear Judy. The blue ones have earrings. I'll add those in. Uh, Judith Dutu said no, thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Judith, and thank you, Judy. All right, Kim, the milk glass. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's the milk glass. Uh, it all is uh, looks like prong set. Silver in color. Kim's laughing. <laughs> <laughs> She's rolling on the floor. <laughs> Here you go. Here's your closure. Here is your back. Kim is loving on it. She says she loves it. I'll do this one at a $6 start. Let me get a length. This one measures 15 and a quarter inch. 15 and a quarter inch. Kim is in at six. And Zuli is in at 10, looking for 11. Thank you, ladies. Judith Daly is in at 11, looking for 12. Kim Vizi is out. So we have Zuli and Judith Daly. Zuli is now in at 13, looking for 14. Thanks, guys. It is a beautiful necklace, Miss Dutu. Judith Daly is in at 14, looking for 15. Thank you, Judith. Zuli is in at 15, looking for 16. Thank you, Judy. Thank you, uh, Zuli. Again, I will not be invoicing until Thursday morning or Wednesday, not Wednesday night, Thursday morning. Uh, so anything you bought today will be combined with an invoice for tomorrow's purchases, if any. And then invoices will go out Thursday, whether you buy tomorrow or not. Judith Daly is in at 16. Zuli is out. Okay. So we'll count this down for Ms. Daly. Going once. Uh, Zulie would like to see the other beige one, the one that has like points, please. Going twice. 
to Miss Judith Daly for 16. Fair warning. And sold to Judith Daly at 16. Thanks, Judy. Thank you, ladies, for your bids. I'm thinking uh, this one, Zuli, the enamel with the, um, these are milk, these are glass, maybe milk glass. They are beige with these little swoopy things. If this is the one. Oh, that's Excuse sweet. me, Sue. Yeah. Judith Daly said to thank you and please send to Kim and Bill her. Aww, so she's Kim. gifting that to Kim Veazey. That is awesome. Kim, don't cry, Kim. I know you're going to cry. Don't cry. Awesome. And Zoli said, awesome. no, the other one, the other beige one. Okay, hold on. Oh, I know which one she's talking about. Kim, don't cry. That is so sweet. I got goosebumps. That is awesome of Judy, you. Judy, you are awesome. I'm just making a note. Hold on, guys. Uh, best group of people, man. I'm sorry, guys. That rolling on the floor laughing face shouldn't have been in there. <laughs> with my emojis yeah that is spectacular man okay. i love like giving nature of people man. this one is the one i think you're talking about this is looks like uh, a silverish and a um a copper color they look like they're glued in with the enamel leaf heart style lack of any other information it's got the shepherd's hook closure. I'll try and see if there's a writing on that. Here is your chain. And if this is any indication, if this is a fob of some sort that means anything to you, it means nothing to me. Let me get a measurement and we'll start this one at five. Yep, Julie said yes. Five dollars, um, 16 and a half inches. And Miss Zuli, I don't think I see anything on here. No marks. Yeah, Judith Dutu said it's a Trafari fob. Uh, Zuli is in at five. Looking. Okay, that's interesting. Thank you so much. Zuli's in at five, looking for six. There you go, Trafari fob. I'm going to take a picture of that and put it in my notes. Thank you, ladies. Yeah, it's been a fun show, man. It's been a long one, four yeah. and a half hours. But wow, really? uh, already seems like we just started. We're gonna count it down for Zuli at five. It was just a great opportunity to feel people out during the week. Going so one. we kn we know when to go live. Yep, going twice. Fair warning. And I would say sold to Zuli for five. Congratulations, Zuli. Thank you so, so much. All right, so Lisa and James, unless uh, nobody has any else interest in these other necklaces, is that correct? Because um, I don't want to not, thanks, Christy, uh, not offer them up since they are on the table uh, one last time. The enamel with the glass beads. It might have a mark. I don't know. This we know is Coro. This is a beautiful silver tone with matching earrings. This little guy right here. And this one we did. I have this. this let's close out with this. This is a very interesting piece. Um, it looks like it's gold painted. And it has uh, all these little clear stones oh. on it. You, I, you two said it's a Coro fob, not Trafari. Oh, Coro. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> and then it has this amazing chain, which I can't guarantee is, um, is you know, uh, with the piece or if it was added later. Uh, but the, ch the, the chain is just amazing. Just amazing. Let me get a length. I'll start this at eight dollars. Christy Fox do asked, "Are you showing your Hooters tonight?" And she's like, "Oh my goodness, I mean your owl." I can show those. I can do those before we leave. Twenty-eight inches, twenty-eight inches on the chain. 
And uh, what did I say? Eight dollars. Eight dollars start. What well, What was the starting bid again, Sue? I'm sorry. Eight dollars. Come on, James. Pull it together. That's my fault. I got distracted by your hooters. I know. Um, <laughs> I had all the information written down, and now I don't know where the heck it is. Oh, I think I got it. Here we go. Nope, that ain't it. All right, whatever. Oh, here it is. Okay. All right, count it down. Count it down if anybody's interested. If not, nope. no big deal. Okay. This is a Carl, Carl Hull, Hoselton aluminum mid century $10 start. $10 start. He is assigned, and he is a numbered 1692. He is all aluminum, and he's a $10 start. He is oh, cute. That is mid-century all the way. Too. He is weighty, signed. They don't go for a ton of money, but then I haven't seen any so sold recently, but I do see some listed. He's can just as cu cute as cute as can be. He reminds me of those things that you guys get that melt ice. That's what he reminds me of. He's super cute, Christy. Kim's in a 10. Christy came in at 10. So we're oh. looking for 11. or Oh, and Zuli's in at 15. So Thank you, guys. You're better. He's super cute. A lot of this I saw was in um, Canada. Next, Canada? I think he might be Canadian, or am I getting confused? Let me look at my other notes. And no. Zoe's 18, looking for 19. Thank you, guys. Ms. Vizi at 19, looking for 20. Christy's in at 20, looking for 21. Kim's in at 21, looking for 22. Zuli is out. Thank you, Zuli. Appreciate Kim, it. Kim's high bid at 21. We're looking at 22. <coughs> Christy Fox Dew is in at 22. <coughs> looking for 23. You all right, Sue? Yep, yeah, I'm fine. All right. I just need something to drink. All right. Ms. Vizi is in at 23. Looking for 24. Ms. Dew is in at 24, looking for 25. And Kim Vizi <coughs> out. We have Christy Dew at 24. Let's count it down for her. Going once. Going twice. Fair warning, everyone. Christy Fox Dew at 24. And stole. Thank you, guys. Christy Fox, do it 24. That's an amazing piece. All right. This other one is a, um, I did my research. See, is it A. Gianelli, Italy? A. Gianelli. He is all alabaster. And then I had to figure out what alabaster was. And it's a form of gypsum. And then I went and I Googled what gypsum was. So this guy is fabulous. His, his a label is missing. But he's absolutely what what I just said. <clears throat> he is just gorgeous, gorgeous. I was going to start him at 25, but you know what? I think I'm going to start him at 16. Ooh, nice. I see, I see what they go for. Um, this is about five and a half inches. He's got these piercing yellow eyes. Miss VC's in at 16. Looking for 17. All alabaster in perfect condition, just gorgeous. And Zuli, again, 17 looking for 18. A Gianelli, Italy, alabaster. Is he beautiful? Kim's in at 18, looking for 19. I love his eyes. I oh, know he's gorgeous, really beautifully, beautifully made. Zuli's in at 23, looking for 24. I have um, a, a beautiful lamp that was made out of alabaster. I mean, it is just gorgeous. It's actually out on my porch. In a 24. Look. Even the detail of his um, beak. They have the, op the over part and the under part. It's just gorgeous. 
Zuli's in at 26. Christy came in a little bit late at 25. Look at these feathers. Christy's at 27. Kim Vizi popped in at 27 also. Christy beat you and Kim. So we are sitting at 27 with Christy Fox. Uh, Zuli's in at 28. Christy's at 29. Christy's at 29, looking for 30. Zuli's in at 30, looking for 31. I mean, his eyes are so realistic. And the way they're set back so deep. Christy's in at 31, looking for 32. Here's looking at you. Oh my God. Looks like his eyes moving, doesn't it? It does. Look, he's following you around the room. It's the light. It's right, crazy. Christy's in at 31. Zuli is out. Okay, we got Christy Fox do at 31. And Sugar Vision's craving chicken wings. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Kim. I mean, that bird looks absolutely spectacular. Man. Here's the he uh, signature I've got to tell you. A G and G and Natelli. Okay, let's count it down. Christie's in at 31. I don't see any other movement on there. Okay. Um, so we're gonna do going once at 31 for Christy Do. <laughs> Steven. Go We're going to fair warning it at 31 to Christy. And we are going to say sold. Christy at 31. All Beautiful. right. Wow. Thank you. Thank you, Christy Fox and everybody else. I'm going to just stick him in a bag so he doesn't get dirty. And we're going to close out my portion with these beautiful, beautiful 30 inch chain. You have the ladybug and the turtle magnifying glasses. Five times. I have a compass one. I love it. And we're going to start these at 25 for choice. 25 for choice. Absolutely fabulous. They are 30 inches. This one has a Figaro style. I think that's what they call that. And then they have an extension chain. And then this one is a gorgeous sunflower with an enameled uh, ladybug. Perfect for when you go treasure hunting, ladies. You don't have to look bad. Jewelry by Denise is in at 25. You don't have to hang around a loop around your neck. I've been using this mine all day long. All day long on my projects. Zuli's in at 26. I use <coughs> her on this. Lisa's got one. I use it on the camera, man. Lisa uses hers at work, too. Yep, they're Zulie, fabulous. 26, looking for 27. They're magnetic. Jewelry by Denise in at 27. Zuli in at 28. I'm supposed to get more in tomorrow, guys, so they, I may have some more tomorrow night. Uh, Jewelry by Denise is in at 29, looking for 30. Zuli is out. We will count this down for jewelry by Denise. Thank you, girls. Thank you, Zuli. Thank you, Denise. Going once at 29 for Denise. Going twice. Fair warning. And we're going to call it sold to Denise at 29. Okay, Denise, let me know which one you like. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Miss Denise would like the turtle. Okay, Zuli, are you interested in the other one at 29? Thank you, Denise. You guys are going to love them, man. They're all, I love mine. I just got mine. I love it. I've been using it. It's just fabulous. Uh, Zuli passed. She wanted the turtle. Sorry. All right. Well, I hopefully we'll get more turtles for tomorrow. So come check in with me tomorrow with uh, Roberta. Again, Roberta and Vanessa will be doing a, a guest spot with us. Vanessa from your community, now my community. She'll be starting uh, with us all day tomorrow. We don't have a time limit. 
So I am going to work very hard pulling out all kinds of goodies for you. Um, I'm sure Roberta's got some fabulous pieces. So uh, come check us out. Then Thursday at 2 o'clock, I'll be hosting a friend of mine, John Bastow. Um, Come check him out. He's just a joy to be with. He's just so fun, so informative. And uh, Lisa and James, you want to say your farewells? There you go, Pook. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Be like, bye-bye. And boom. <laughs> Pook just goes black at that point. Is so. she nap- She's napping already, isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> we haven't even dinner yet, man. She's going to be like, oh, my God, Sue. I didn't, I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> I was going to make dinner, man. And it's like, no, we're ordering in, man. It's always 9 o'clock. <laughs> I haven't even gotten the shower yet, man. But, I mean, I enjoyed myself today, guys. Yep. Thank you so much for putting up with me. Like me. Uh, I know I'm a pain. Yep. And I mean, I absolutely have a ball here with you guys. Um, Like I had said before, hopefully I'll be able to pop up a little bit more now that my schedule's loosened up. Um, I appreciate you guys coming out and watching. Yeah. And if anybody's watching the video and you have any information, uh, you require any information or any interest, you can uh, uh, reach out to either one of us right there on our screen (laughs) sides. That's what Roberta does. Roberta does that all the time. She's like, I'm, oh, yeah. with, I'm with Lisa. I choose the pointer. I the pointer. Right I'm going to go back and watch this video for Lisa's uh, Kurt oh, my, my yeah. blunder. Yeah, the AstraZeneca. Anyway, yeah, man. Have a blessed <laughs> night. Thank you, Pfizer. everybody, for being here. We so much enjoy it. Sorry about the goofing off, but sometimes you just got to have a little bit of fun. It's all right, so fun. ciao, guys. Mwah. Bye, guys. guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. Come on, computer. Bye, T. It won't let me end. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, we're, we're not like, allowed to leave well, too. Have, all right, keep selling, man. Go ahead, you can leave. Right. I'll reach out to you when I'm done. <laughs> all right. <laughs> hey, I'll be here. I'll be here till tomorrow. <laughs> I'll just I'll just invite Roberta right in. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> See y'all. Love Bye, you. Bye, guys.